Hey, I'm Derek Dunn, and uh, alongside with me is uh, Bob Ellis and Claire Vaughn, and we also have uh, Grady Simpson on camera for us here tonight. JV match between Fairfield and NCOE is getting ready to start, and uh, following JV, we'll actually have a varsity action. Oh. So, yeah, for our sponsors tonight, we got Wayne County Farm Bureau, Christina Copeland Country Financial, Wabash General Hospital, Fairfield Banking Company, Carnaby Square Fashion Boutique, FNB, Fairfield Save a Lot, PNB, RJ Marketing, Connard Financial Group, Carter Trucking, Potts Family Pharmacy, Hashtag No Tan Lines, Rush, and Black's Flowers and Gifts. Already got a pretty good start here for the JV team. Up three at the start of the match. Let's hope they can keep up this lead early on. Really help them out later in this game.
Fuels are still going on strong here with a couple points in a row. And COE just can't seem to keep up. Maybe I spoke too soon. for the serve there, but they just happened to catch it and were not able to hit it back over. That was a close one. Number eight of NCO is going in for the serve again. Similar thing happened again. Tried to hit it, but just went right behind her and was not able to get back it, to it over. Hopefully this time they'll be ready for it and they can hit it right back over and get another point, get the ball back to them so they can score a couple more in a row here, kind of keep the game going good. Uh, they hit it this time and got it over. And 15 is going to hit it over. And, oh, and that is a point for Fairfield. That was good. They all just tried to hit it over, but just couldn't. The ball just got too low, and they could not recover there. It's going to be Fairfield's ball. <laughs> tried to hit it over, just went back behind her. It's going to be back to NCOE for now. Score is 10 to 9. Mules are still keeping ahead, but kind of lost that little bit of that early the lead they had going on there. It's going to be another point for the Lady Mules there. There we go, starting to come back strong. ball back over there and just kind of caught it. It's going to be back to Fairfield. And again, if you look in the crowd and if you see some people in different costumes, it is costume night here for the volleyball game, so you may see some different characters dressed up. I already see a taco. Looks like a Hawaiian dancer in the crowd, a hot dog, and our own Grady Simpson here that's yes. filming. He's got the pirate outfit on. Really nice. Yeah, he actually surprised us, Bob, out there in the parking lot. We're like, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. We thought it was actually him at first. I know. I wasn't paying attention. I turn around. I see a pirate behind me. I couldn't <laughs> tell who I was talking to. By the way, uh, we're getting – this is about the halfway point of the first set between Fairfield and NCOE. There was no freshman match tonight. Uh, right now it's JV and the varsity after. So, kind of getting a little bit of an earlier start here, getting our volleyball on. 15 hits it, up to 14. Oh. Keeping it going. Yeah, that was a good hit over there. Stayed right in, they just could not get to that. Back to NCOE. It is 13 to 11 here. Got a pretty good game going on. Fairfield tries to hit it over, but just goes out. It's going to be back to NCOE here. Yeah, that was hit out of bounds by Ava Best. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we got the whole crowd coming Look in in the that, costumes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's uh, 
You got two Pikachu? bananas. Is that P no, wait, Pikachu? Pikachu, that is a banana. Oh, that is a... That, that is not Pikachu. That's a, bana that's a banana from Fortnite, Derek. Oh, okay. And it looks like we got like the little fish sticks from Fortnite as well. Got the whole <laughs> Fortnite crew over there. We got two wannabe rats, a Power Ranger. It is, again, Halloween less than two weeks away. Yeah, I keep forgetting like, about that. Doesn't seem like it at all. But I know. It's coming up way sooner than I thought it was going to. Yeah. So you can see it's really kind of kicking in now. You see all the people dressed up really it's getting a the hot dog over spirit. There. I see a hot dog over there, too. Oh, thank you. We'll just have more and more people coming, too. That's my face. Oh. Let's see where he hits it under the net. That's going to be back to Fairfield here. 15 to 13. And Sutton serves that one into the net. Uh, again, JV action underway here. Already 15-14. Fairfield with the lead over NCOE first set. Varsity uh, following JV. So, again, this is JV first set. And I do apologize if I'm saying, like, numbers more than names. I don't quite know the names of everyone yet, so I'm working on it. i got a paper here in front of me now, so. Just thought I'd point that out there. I'm not... Quite as an expert as Double D here is, I'm working on it. Hey, it's all practice. It's oh, all practice, no. Bob. It's all practice. I got to say, too, you know, he's an Edwards, the mic. Edwards County boy, and we've turned yeah. him into a Mules fan. So give him some grace, guys. I'm trying my best here. He's rooting for the Mules wherever we go. Blocked that one, and they got the point. That was good. Great job by Ava Best on the block. They were not able to stop that one. I'm just looking behind us. We had some a Mule Nation t-shirt walk in behind us. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. And it, it's filling up fast in here tonight. Look at this. I know. Well, when you have Fairfield and NCOE, I've covered. I've been here when NCOE has been here. I've been down to North City when, mm -hmm. you know, when they host Fairfield. You talk about a packed atmosphere on both sides, and it usually is. So you guys are in for a real treat because you guys have not <laughs> experienced it like I have. I so. know. I'm sitting here like I'm not really needed. I don't know why I'm here, but okay, I don't want to leave. So <laughs> No, no, Claire, you're needed here. Stay here. <laughs> oh. oh. That was a good hit for them. Kate Bowman, the freshman, with the attack for NCOE. And uh, oh, that was a nice little volley there. Kind of went right into the net. They just caught it. Yep. It's just one of those situations for J.D. Melton, the freshman, where it's like you're in a tight spot and there's not much you can do about it. Oh, into the net. This game is still staying really close, 18 to 17. Yep. Fairfield is still up at the moment. Let's hope they can keep it that way. It's a really good game so far. Been a good first set of J.V. Tried to hit it over, just got blocked, went right back at them. Straight into the net. Timeout on the floor. And it looks like there's going to be a timeout.
Yeah, we got here. He's zooming in over on the costumes, as you just saw. We got a couple more people showed up. Looks like we got Michael Myers over there. And, I mean, they're just going to keep coming. Well, it's, it's the costume party theme tonight, so. I saw a lot of Fortnite players. Yeah, I know Derek Walking thought in. one of them was Pikachu. <laughs> I seriously thought it was Pikachu from my childhood days, all right? You know, so. Pokemon's popular again. It is. It's crazy, but, <laughs> yep. It's, it all comes back around. Well, they're releasing their ninth generation game next November. And I remember when Pokemon, Claire and I, growing up in the 90s here, <laughs> remember when it was all the buzz and the rage. I oh, mean, yeah. I mean, hey, I, I played the games, I know, so... It's still just as popular as it was back then, even. Yeah, it's crazy to see how much the game has evolved. Well, now they're on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, that's a good save there. They uh, had had an app there for a while, too, where you could go Pokemon hunt. Go? Yes. Yeah, that was a big deal, like 2016. That was pretty cool. I mean, you walked all over a point for the nice. Lady Mills. That's nice good. Job. Nice job with the Lady Mills there. 20-17, to 17, they lead. Server's ace for the Lady Mules. Serve again. Tried to hit the one back, but it just did not go straight. Went straight into the bleachers. This will be <laughs> Libby Klein who's serving. Nice serve by Klein. That's out. Not by much either. <laughs> that was close. By the skin on your teeth, that was out. By the way, Claire, uh, you talked about Mule Nation apparel, and folks can still order that. Yep, it's still available up at Mindy's Sew Shop if you guys are interested in hoodies, crewnecks, long sleeve t shirts. You can really get whatever you want. There's, um, I ordered some blankets and some stocking hats the other day, just oh. trying to get ready for, for winter. So the possibilities are endless, and Mindy is so helpful. and. Um, go up there and place your order. Super how big, quick, too. How yeah. Big, uh, how big are the blankets, by the way, Claire? <sighs> you know, Derek, I don't know the dimensions <laughs> off the top of my head, but oh. it's a nice size blanket. Okay. Um, not super heavy or thick, but it's, it'll it'll keep you warm. Okay. Yep. I I've really like it. I'll, I'll measure and let you know. Yeah. Bigger I've than a throw, smaller than a queen. Let's go with full. Let's go with full. Okay. Okay. I wondered how big they were, so... Yeah, I walked in there the other day because I wanted to get me a red T-shirt with, like, the logo kind of in the corner. I yeah. walked in, she asked what I want. She goes, what color? What design? Yeah. She goes, okay. Got I'll it. call you when it's ready. Probably not even 10, 15 minutes later. They called me, said it's ready, so I went there and picked it up. <laughs> Absolutely love the shirt. Wow. Yeah, I'm so thankful we decided to do some red, too. I was all about oh, just yeah. black and white. And I listened to you guys and ordered the red. The and red they are so nice. so nice. Yeah, I really they are like nice. them. And the sponsors on the back now too. Yeah, we gotta thank Show our sponsors for sure. But also, I, I ran into one of them the other day, and someone had came into their biz place of business, and they yeah. had their Mule Nation shirt on, and he said that uh, he's like, you, you know, you like my shirt? It was I got it for free. <laughs> and he's like, no, you did it. <laughs> like I paid for that. <laughs> So we are so thankful for our sponsors. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. And yes. the Mule Nation swag definitely wouldn't be possible. So That's some good-looking stuff, too. That's for sure. Getting closer to the end. Fairfield two points oh. away from 25. A timeout again on the floor. This has been oh, a close, close match back and forth the entire time. And I anticipate yes. every game, every match going this way. <laughs> tonight so it may be a long night but it's going to be a fun exciting one for sure so the live chat is open if you guys are here and you're listening and you want us to stop talking about pokemon give us a comment let us know where you're watching from i've really liked people sending us pictures or posting pictures on our yes. facebook so yeah that was cool i saw a couple view. of those you showed me yeah yeah my my uncle was one of them they had it all set up on his big screen in the backyard inflatable big screen and that was really cool and then Derek had sent me the one with the the cat watching and Sir chunk a lot um the books were down in Florida and so they yeah. sent their view watching when they were down in Florida so we're so thankful you guys tune in wherever you're watching from and it's that's the thing about it is just no matter where you are as long as you have internet connection you can watch us anywhere I mean right 
internet or cellular connection. Yeah. Whoa! Riley. What a great reflex on that one. Great job by Riley. Jolly on that one. Oh! No. <laughs> Little miscommunication right there, but. Again, sometimes it's the easiest ones I get you. Yep. 23-22 now. It's getting close right here at the end. Nail biter. Oh, oh, great job by Riley. It. Great job, Riley. Yeah, she has great reflexes up there. Yeah. That's going to be a point for the Mules. All right, match point right here. You know it's going to be a good night whenever the JV game starts off this exciting. <laughs> well, and again, though, it really kind of sets the tone for varsity, right. I think. So, what we're seeing here, a close first set, second set, JV could be the same, too. Nice dig. That was good. That was a good dig by NCOE. Oh, Alex. Now, Jacqueline Melton, the head coach of NCOE, she also coaches grade school volleyball for NCOE. So she's been around. She's a busy lady. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. The match that right nice. there. 25-23 right there at the end. Lady Mules win that first set. Second set of JV upcoming. You're on Mule Nation. I got a few things we'll talk about real fast while oh, yeah. we have a little bit. Um, the first thing, I know we've mentioned it a couple times, but that Fran Carter Memorial Scholarship Fashion Show is coming up. Um, and that is obviously hosted by the FCC Foundation and Carnaby Square. That's November 6th, isn't it? November 6th at 3 p.m. Um, and it's going to be at the First Christian Church this year. Tickets are on sale now at Carnaby Square for $15 each or $100 for a reserve table of eight. So get on up to Carnaby Square. I know those are selling out fast. Um, it's a great great um, cause and Fran did a lot for us in the community so yes. we want to try to help them and happy belated birthday Christy Horning her birthday was yesterday the She's mayor of Main Street the mayor of Main Street she is one of our biggest supporters and you know just uh, inspiration to us all so happy birthday Christy happy birthday Christy second ran into Clifford Reaver today yeah, Clifford. the Chamber of Commerce and he wanted me to remind everyone about the Veterans Day Parade. Yes. November 5th at 2 p.m. downtown Fairfield, the same route. Yep. All the parades go on. Um, if you're interested in having a float or walking in the parade, contact Clifford Reaver. Um, his number is 618-516-3111. And again, the Veterans Day Parade in downtown Fairfield, November 5th at 2 p.m. And then also, this Thursday night, Moonlight Madness, downtown Fairfield, Thursday, October 20th from 5 to 8 p.m. And Libby has done such an awesome job this year. She's got live music. Hayden Brown and Nathaniel James are going to be there. She has Touch a Truck for the Kids over yes. in the City Hall parking lot, which is going to be super fun. So, like, the ambulance and the fire truck and... Um, police cars. I think she's trying to get like a skid steer there. Oh, yeah, okay. So, you know, kids can go and, and sit in the vehicles, touch the vehicles. Um, and it's all by donation only. So all of this, there's discounts and raffles and stuff going on at the local stores. Big Boy Barbecue is going to be there selling food. And all the proceeds go to the splash pad for um, at Leo French. So if you're not at the volleyball game, senior night, Tuesday or Thursday, Come on up downtown Fairfield and uh, participate in Moodlight Madness. It'll be a lot of fun. By the way, you mentioned Touch a Truck. Yeah. When I lived in Central Illinois, it wasn't called that. It was the same thing. Yeah. But they called it Meet the Machines. Meet the Machines. I'd never heard the phrase. Yeah. I'd never heard the phrase Touch a Truck until Libby introduced it. And I was like, well, that makes sense. But Meet the Machines makes, makes sense, too. I, I like it because 
for the kids, they get to see it up close. They right. get to see like a police car and an ambulance and a fire truck up close. I don't care how old you are. That's cool. Oh, yeah, like, cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that as we, a kid. we all like to see that type of stuff. So, you know, I'm lucky I have a firefighter uncle, so we've gotten to be up close and personal. Yeah. Um, get to see it the insides before, but um, it'll be a good opportunity for all the kids to go out. And, and if you are there at touch a truck please thank our emergency first responders yes. for all that they do because they do so much they do and we're thankful to have them oh, man Riley yeah. Jolly again get the Already first the point star. in the second match the girls are excited about that one we got an angel oh an angel among us <laughs> Oh, Hayden Hodges and the Daisy Dukes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just saw him on our way in. Oh. Tried to get to the ball, but it's just a little too far away to be able to get all the way up to it in time. Again, we just joined us. A reminder, and JB first set of final score was 25-23. Fairfield won that one. Second set just got underway. Out. Yep. That's going to be a pull from the Blues. <laughs> oh. Kind of fell flat there. Yeah. Nice effort by the Lady Mules, though, and we're tied 2-2 in the second match of the JV. Oh, <laughs> oh that was close. <laughs> oh, that was actually cool. <laughs> Oh! oh! Slipped right through the hands. Like a like a grease pig. <laughs> or right through the hands. <laughs> By the way, going back to... Uh, uh, Jacqueline Milton, I was talking about her back in the first set. Uh, she told me she's a fan of Mule Nation. She's been watching our channel. So. Oh, cool. She said, I got to watch Chet. So. <laughs> her son was um, oh. her son was Joe Melton. Joe uh, now is at Rain Lake College playing for the Warriors, and he played with Kane Hicks, a ball at Fairfield. Um, also played against Landon Zerlini when Landon was playing, so. What sport does he play? Sorry. Uh, basketball. Okay. Joe is six foot seven, and uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a load in high school. Good player. Good player. Neil's starting to make a comeback here. Got a point back. Yeah, five three NCOE leading early in the second set. Mm. Put the ball, it's made it go behind her out of bounds. That Combs of JV may call a timeout soon if Ty doesn't turn to Lady Mule's way. And see he's starting to get ahead here. Yeah. Three to seven. Yeah, seven to three. Substitution in. Oh, timeout, event. Yep. All right, we're going to no, take wait, wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Substitution. I'm sorry. I heard the whistle. <laughs> that was I'm, I'm sorry, saying, guys. We're going to take one, too. But no, we will not. I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was. Uh, but it's 8-3 NCOE. Sorry, guys. The coffee's wearing off. I'm sorry about that. Anyway. I know. I'll be on it. Well, now, Claire, if I start yawning in the middle of a broadcast, I know why I'm yawning. Anyway. Mm-hmm.
Going back and forth here. Nice little volley for sure. Nice volley. Oh, that was out of bounds. Just That's out of line. bounds. Right on the line. It's a good try nonetheless. And yeah, timeout. Yeah. All right, we'll take one too. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. This evening's broadcast is sponsored by the Wayne County Farm Bureau. Members of the Wayne County Farm Bureau earn a return on their membership dues. Members are eligible for a $500 special offer on Ford trucks, discounts at popular hotels and on car rentals, discounts on John Deere, Case IH, and CAT equipment, as well as discounts at theme parks, restaurants, movie theaters, and a whole lot more. Associate memberships are only $20 per year. Become a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau today. Go to waynecfb.com slash membership and learn how. The Wayne County Farm Bureau, a membership that means something. We're all familiar with the three watts, what it is, what can it do for me, and what does it cost? At Country Financial, we can help you with the answers with insurance coverage to help protect what's most important to you, all at a price you can afford. So while you're juggling work and kids, while you're trying to keep an eye on your future, we'll make sure we're one of the first ones there when you need us most. What should you do next? Call Country Financial Representative Christina Copeland at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs. All right, and we are back. JV match, second set. Mules are down 10 to three. There's still plenty of time. The, the Lady Mules did win the first, first match of the set, so. By the way, Claire, um, Lady Mills postseason volleyball. Uh, yeah. We got, we got Thursday at home, a senior night here at the Meal Bar. We encourage fans to come out for that, but also postseason volleyball next week at Anna Jonesboro. Yep, Tuesday night. They're playing at Anna Jonesboro, I think, 6 o'clock. Is that right? Well, you put me on the spot. I know. <laughs> I know. I want to say 6. But, anyways, we will get that posted on our Facebook. Um, I always try to make events for all the live streams we're going to be doing, so you can check there. Um, and we always make a post usually the night before or the morning of um, what time we're going to go live as well. So Facebook's always a good resource. Or always feel free to reach out to us. Someone asked me the other day, where are you getting all your information from when people are saying, you know, I'm watching from Iowa, I'm watching from, you know, West Africa. And I said, you know, it's funny because we get it on the live chat, obviously, on YouTube. Yes. We get them on Facebook Messenger. Double D gets text. Bob gets text. Yeah. I get text. We get messages. You know, it's just, it's kind of coming from a little bit of everywhere, and we're so thankful for it. So check in with us and let us know where you're watching from. We're glad to have you. Even more costumes coming in here. Got ghost face over there walking up. Looks like see someone. Yep. Looks like a monkey onesie, maybe. And I saw someone. Looks like they're Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Scream is back. As. Scream is back. Ghost face. Oh, I know what his name was. I kept calling him Scream all this time. <laughs> well, Scream the other night was Vegas Stanley. I didn't know who it was. Oh, really? Until I until I asked someone the next day about it. That Michael Myers mask is creeping me out more than the Scream mask for <laughs> sure. Oh. D Medman 50s checking in says good evening from Dan in Indianapolis. Hi Dan. FCHS class of 70. Nice to have you with us. <laughs> Ruth Ann Ramsey's watching from Tennessee. Go Lady Mules. Hi Ruth. Uh oh. Oh, we got a... Oh, WWE champion right here. Eric Rogers walking in. <laughs> I love it. Can you smell what... Oh, it's Stone Cold. I was going to guess The Rock, but Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin. Austin 316, baby. That was my childhood growing up, you yeah, know, yeah. watching Monday Night Raw. <laughs> I was a fan of Sting. See, we were... Yeah, we were Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock or... Yeah. Trying to think. The Undertaker. 
<laughs> I, if I if I go to sleep tonight and I have a dream of that voice, I, I I'm going to be horrified. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Uh, oh, oh, able to get it back over there. The one thing I want to give credit to is what was that? What was that point for? What happened? Oh, I, I didn't see it. Didn't see? Okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, but what I love about this is we've seen it all season long where we had these dress-up, these themes, mm -hmm. and I absolutely love it. Uh, I love how the students get involved with that. Yeah, they're, they're, um, they get a lot more involved, I feel like, than when we were in high school. The boys were too cool to wear dress-up then, you know, but yeah. everyone gets so into it, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I also want to say hi to the Brits. They're watching from Indianapolis. And Dax Peach is watching from Mount Carmel. Go Mules. Hi, Dax. Hi, the Brits. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that over I there? I did. I did. Someone just got stabbed by the devil. The angel was there to witness it, but didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm wondering <laughs> if the angel and the devil aren't a a pair, a couple. Yeah. <laughs> those couples costumes that you see. <laughs> Too much fun. What are you going to be dressing up as for Halloween this year, Derek? You got anything planned? I am just going to be dressing up as myself, and that's about it. But I tell you You're what. You're enough of a character as it is, <laughs> Double D. But, but I am thinking, I am thinking about maybe... Maybe buying like one of those um, Afro wigs and maybe putting it on. I've done it before <laughs> in the past, so and that could be a thing for Mule Nation. Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, post a photo of me wearing the wig, and if it gets like so many likes, then I'll be like, "Hey, I'll wear it for the playoff football game." There you go. I done it one time, and I had to. I got like over 200 and 300 likes, and man. I'm not surprised. Oh, we got oh. even more. Wow. They just keep coming. Cool Aid Man. Cool Aid Man. Some ninjas. Um, I think that's the the banana from Fortnite. A giraffe. I think it's a giraffe, yeah. I think some of them are the same, though, too, yeah. Um, oh, wait, there's two of them. There's three bananas, three or four ninjas. This would be like the, what was it, Mortal Kombat or, I don't know. I mean. I'm not sure. It looks like a Z. Is it Dragon Ball Z? No. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell what that is. But I want to say hi to... Um, John Rice is watching from Ghana, Ohio. Thanks for joining us, John. Hi, John. And it goes out. Wow. I mean, look at this. I've kind of, you know, lost track because we were paying attention to <laughs> the uh, costumes, but the girls have came back. We're up to 13-15 right now, so we're only down by two. There was quite a big gap there for a little bit. Slowly chipping away. They win this one. Ooh. We'll move on to the varsity match. On the line. So close. Those have got to be hard to judge standing oh, I know. there. I can barely you know? tell that one. Yeah. Well, it's just the angle. I mean, sometimes it can really throw you off mm -hmm. a little bit. So, I know a lot of times in, like, the – postseason or tournament play even they'll have line judges down there yes they do on the corners so they can get a more accurate read on him i know that uh colton slover was one uh, oh colton. really yeah he was one oh, oh good ago. save there nice save. Awesome. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh it's still going wow what a save that way laney oh nice. that's in that is in that was great way to go laney I about jumped out of my seat as soon that as I saw that. That was a heck of a play. Double D's getting revved up now. Varsity hasn't even started yet. you got to save a little bit of your energy, Derek. Man. I, I know. I got to. I got to. I, I got to <laughs> say, I've got to apologize for Friday night's football broadcast because it just was not the same without Double D there. I was just eating pizza and watching from home. I know. There was no one there to yell, touchdown, mules. I just did that in the live chat. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Rogers has wings on his shoes. <laughs> Can't give the man a, a night off. You know, I give you the night off, and you're still sending us stats. And hey, I was helping out, though. <laughs> you were. We appreciate I was, it. No, no problem. No, I was happy to help out as, lo as long as I'm able to. Ooh, nice That dig. was good. Nice dig. Three. 
Oh, oh, tricksters. That village was just a little tap right over in. You know, just changing the momentum of it. And, you know, they're expecting a hard hit. Just tap it. Gets it really, off. yeah. It's kind of like in pitching when you have, like, a baseball. When, you know, you change up your fastball and your slider and everything. You kind of want a variety of speeds. It was barely out. 19-14 and timeout on the floor. All right, we will take one, too. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Wabash General Hospital is now accepting new patients of all ages at the Albion Medical Clinic. Call 618-445-8170 to schedule your appointment for any number of services, including primary care, orthopedic and sports medicine, lab draw, and diagnostic imaging. Wabash General Hospital. People you know, helping people you love. All right, we are back and getting ready to finish off the set here. 14-19. Hopefully Mules can get back ahead here. Down by five, they can do it. Yeah, I mean, we still got a game going on. It ain't over till it's over, and... Okay, I knew, I knew my mother-in-law would chime in here. I just got the text. So my mother-in-law and father-in-law are Fortnite players, okay? They're in their really? 60s. Really? I won't give away their exact number. <laughs> That's fine. But they're in their 60s, and they are good Fortnite players. Okay. So she texted me, and she said, come on, Claire. That's Fortnite Peely. That's his name. The Peely. banana is Peely. But I've been pitching to them a podcast for years. Yeah. Okay. Grandma and Grandpa playing yeah. Fortnite. That'd give views. I mean, come on. That would be. Just Fortnite was a game I just never could get into. I play a lot of video games in my free time, which not as much now that I'm busy with college. But yeah, whenever I have time to just chill out and relax, I'll play a lot of games. So I've just, I could not get into Fortnite. The whole building deal is I just uh, couldn't get good at it. Yeah. Well, and now that it's kind of gotten away from building, there's, you know, yeah. there's time or ways you can play that you don't have to build, zero builds, whatever. But it's sad. Like, Everyone in my family now can play. They're good. Like yeah. I'm just <laughs> still now learning how to like run and walk. <laughs> now you gotta, you my gotta mother start in law will be like, okay, now you know, shoot, shoot that bad guy. I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know how to do that. That's too many, too many steps. So yeah, Call of Duty Warzone. That was my game. Okay. Me and my friends would play together. Same basis as Fortnite. Right. You know, just without less, the building and a Call of Duty. Less uh, crazy characters too, right? Yeah. You didn't have Peely. <laughs> got some cool gun skins, but other than that. Yeah. Nothing too wild. Well, Fortnite was smart with their marketing and their... Oh, oh yeah. Because they can make so much money off of... Like all the skins and costumes. stuff. costumes, yeah. yeah. My stepson, when he got into it, it was like, can I have $25? Can I have $50? Can I have $10? You know, just constantly. Yeah. I'm like, for a video game skin? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, Oh, man, 23-14, the girls are going to have to go on a nice yeah. long run here. 23-15. Let's go, Laney. Talk about Fortnite real quick. It seemed like I got into it a little bit, but it seemed like everyone got too good too quick. And yeah. then I, I just kept losing, and I said, uh, I'm playing Rocket League instead. <laughs> so I played Rocket League, like, whenever it first came out to Xbox. Like, I was so excited to get oh, that game. Oh, nice save, yeah. oh, girls. Wow. That was beautiful. Come on. Make it worth it. Attack. Oh, oh. nice save. Good job. Still just going back and forth here. This is a great volley. Yeah, the NCOE girls are not. Oh, oh so <laughs> close. They almost had that. Just could not get there quick enough. All right, we still still can go on a run here. 24-15. NCOE with the lead. That one's in. Yep, got the corner. 25-15, second set JV final, so we'll go to the third set. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with that third set. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing.
The Fairfield Banking Company, your true locally owned hometown bank, says go mules. See them for checking and savings accounts and loans of all types. Lobby hours are 8.30 to 4 Monday through Friday and 8 to noon on Saturdays. And the convenient drive through they're open 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday, 8 to 6 on Friday and 8 to noon on Saturday. The Fairfield Banking Company, 915 Commerce Drive in Fairfield, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Carnaby Square, your fashion leader at 115 East Main in downtown Fairfield, wishes the mules good luck this year. See Christy and all the Carnaby girls for the personal attention you deserve. Serving the area for more than 42 years, Carnaby Square has famous name brand clothing, corky shoes and bright and jewelry, watches, handbags and sunglasses. Plus they've got men's belts and wallets. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday until 7 on Thursday. Like them on Facebook and check out their live videos every Thursday at 530. All right, everyone, we are back. And again, more people in costumes down there. We've got another Michael Myers. Looks like this <laughs> one's from one of the more recent movies. Got like the burnt looking on the mask down there. I'm just cracking up at Hayden Hodges standing there in his <laughs> Daisy Dukes. And I was trying to, right next to Macho Man Stone Cold there Steve he is. Austin. Hey, there he is. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh, Kool Aid Man's waving, ready for him to bunch. Bust through a wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, or is that, oh yeah. Or is that, I feel like we were more like Macho Man Randy Savage. Like, snap into <laughs> a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and everyone wanted to be like Randy Savage, uh, biting into that Slim Jim. You feel that rush. And <laughs> now you can just take down anyone and do anything. Oh, may he rest in peace. Too many Slim Jims. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, oh, there, Grady's zooming in on the characters <laughs> now. He, he really on the characters, not yeah. the FCHS <laughs> student section. I'm calling them the <laughs> characters. <but laughs> we love it. He's I know. I love that they're all dressed up tonight. And Grady's dressed up like a pirate, by the yeah. way, too. Which, no one asked me what my Halloween costume is. Oh, Bob, you've Thank said that. Thank you. Asked my well, kids, yeah, what is yours? I my kids picked mine out, and just so happens, I'm also a pirate. So Grady oh, and I can yours. go trick-or-treating together. In our pirate costumes. I'm a pirate, and they picked out a, a vampire for their dad. So okay. we match in no way, oh. shape, or form, but <laughs> we're going to be cute. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bet money now that my husband never wears that vampire costume. <laughs> 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 but I couldn't tell him, no. I'm like, it's $10. We'll, we'll get it. Oh, we got to wait. Is he, oh, he, he's is being he escorted. arrested? I think he's being escorted off the... <laughs> Let's oh, love no. oh yeah, we've got Grady zooming in there. Really good to get a look at that. <laughs> uh. Being escorted off the premises. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun. But I, again, we're going back to the themes. It's been so much fun to watch. I mean, they've all kinds of themes over the course of the season. Who, who sets the themes? Does, does anyone I know? I don't know. Um, do the kids just get together and decide it? Or? Maybe. I don't know. But, again, I love it. and you Me know, too. It, it makes it fun. Yeah, and it gets the kids to be here in the gym and just kind of see, like, what else everyone else, like, what, what their classmates are wearing. And I see the only time we ever did, like, dress-up days is, like, homecoming week when we right. were in high school. And then, like. Or, you know, a crazy red and black day or yeah. whatever for a football game. But yeah. nothing. Nothing like every volleyball game. I feel like there's so much more, so no. much better attended now. Yeah. Especially um, by cool. students. So that's a great thing to see. 50 years, right? Celebrating 50 years of, of ladies' sports here Title at FCHS. Nine. So wow. it's a pretty cool thing to see. By the way, I want to tell you about a concert coming up. I saw it on the Fairville Community High School Facebook page earlier. The oh, the band concert? Yeah, the 70s Pops concert. Oh. It's coming up this Sunday, October 23rd. 2 p.m. here in the gym. Okay. I want to. I for, I just saw it this morning, and so anyway, that's a 2 p.m. this Sunday. FCHS presents the 70s pops. Oh concert. man, NCOE got the first point of the third match here with JV. So again, if you're looking to do something on a Sunday afternoon, Joshua Livesay and the band, they are fantastic. What was the date again, Derek? Uh, yeah, this Sunday, October 23rd. So that's in, um, isn't that the one that's in cahoots with Make a Difference Day? Or I'm not sure on that. Okay. I'm just going off the 
Fairville Community High School Facebook page. So I had talked to Donna Reaver um, a couple weeks ago, and, you know, the volleyball tournament's here this weekend, and it's yes. also, there was supposed to be a Make a Difference Day celebration. And last I heard, there was going to be a band concert Saturday night that was um, Halloween-themed. Okay. So we need to look into that and yes. maybe report on that by Thursday. But, sure. you know, stuff like that just changes so fast if, we may be out of the loop. <laughs> well, we got also got Mules football this Saturday at Vienna. Yeah, all the way down to Vienna. It's an hour and 35 minutes, but, man, it's a long hour and 35 minutes. <laughs> it is. I've been down there. I've I've broadcasted a football game down there one time off the back of a pickup truck. So yeah. Uh, kinda, yeah. <laughs> but I will say this, though. That's the style down there. Yeah, there are no lights in Vienna. And they have their home games on Saturday afternoons only. Yep. And so that's why there's a Saturday day game down there should be pretty nice weather for that though About yeah. 78 and 80 yeah it's gonna be amazing i'm not gonna be freezing this time <laughs> like you were on tuesday night uh, no last night last night not tuesday night last night because tonight's tuesday night oh, yeah. oh wait what day was on monday my days night. are all mixed up we, I can't uh, last keep night we had that extra game in it threw us off yeah last night when when I got down there in the press box at half, I said, boys, it's cold. <laughs> that wind was bitter. It, it was just. Oh, I bet. It was so windy outside yes. then. I mean, you could not keep anything outside unless it was, like, tied down. It was going to blow away, and you're never going to see that again. Well, Bob, my concern was the cameras making sure they were still yeah. up. <laughs> I had both of them on. They all stood on the tripod, but I. it's no fun filming in rain either. I've done that. It Ooh. is in a cold rain. Oh. That Carmi game, it started to rain right. a little bit. Luckily, it wasn't too bad. But looks like we're going to be going in here for a timeout. So yep. let me get a word for our sponsors. FNB would like to take a moment to say thank you to all our area farmers. You truly are the heart of the heartland. Whether it's for this season's crop or the next crop of seasoned farmers, FNB is proud to support you by offering agribusiness services, products, and solutions designed to help you grow. FNB, banking, business, life, member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, we are back. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you guys again for joining us tonight. We are in the third match here of JV. NCOE leading 6-1. Thank you. But, yeah, we have a senior night Thursday night here at the Mill Barn. And, guys, these seniors, I mean, I, the time, the days, the years they've committed to this, I mean – Got a really good team. Absolutely, and they are the they are they've really built this thing up. Really, they they deserve a lot of credit. So uh, it's going to be an emotional senior night. But you know what? I have seen senior nights in the past where you have seniors that are amped up and they play their hearts out, and it's uh it's incredible. I got a really good hit there. Nice job, brother, by the Lady Mules. Again, Lady Mules are trailing 6-1. See if they can get a run here going and win this JV in uh, three sets. Oh, Summer's ace. Just went out there, though. Keep it going. Kind of like those little lob passes. 
like those little lob hits that just kind of go over your head. You think they're going to go out, but they stay in. By the way, one costume we've yet to mention, uh, Jacob Ballfield, the manager for volleyball. He's uh, Jake from State Farm. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always love that commercial with yeah. uh, Jake from State Farm where it's like, what's she wearing? In the she middle sounds of the night? hideous. In the middle of the night, like <laughs> yeah. 3 a.m. <Yeah. laughs> Khakis. <laughs> Time out on the floor, by the way. All right. We're going to take a quick one, too. You're listening to RJ <laughs> Mule Nation. <laughs> powered, powered by, by RJ Marketing. Yep. <laughs> The Fairfield Sickle, your locally owned hometown grocery store, 709 West Main, wishes to meals a great season, open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday, and 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Save a lot offers fresh fruit and produce and fresh cut meats, all at everyday low prices. Check out their Facebook pages for weekly specials. All right, we are back live on Mule Nation. All right, I, I'm paying attention to our stream again. I want to say Angela Vaughn says good camera work, Grady. He's doing a great job doing tonight over there. over there. And then Angie Tucker said the varsity volleyball girls actually set the oh. theme for the night. So thank you for letting us know that. We were, we had no idea. Oh, you did so a good much job fun. With it. It's really getting the students involved down there. It's probably one of the biggest turnouts in the student section I think we've seen probably. Yeah, it's about full over there. I also want to give a shout out to Herschel French. He is watching in Santa Clara, California. Hey. Hi, Hello. Herschel. Herschel from way back, church camp days. Yes. Uh, is that Ben French's oh. brother? Yep. His uh, yeah. older brother. I'll be. Okay. By the way, hi, Angie, and hi, Angela, and hi, Herschel. And uh, Thank you all for joining us. Yes. And uh, the third set of JV and varsity is upcoming. By the way, Fairfield heading to varsity tonight, 23-5 and five overall NCOE. 33 and 1 overall. So we'll have some more details coming up on Mule Nation. Hey, Freddie, regarding both varsity teams. Mules have got the ball back here. See if we can get some points up. Go for a nice little run here. And I'm not sure if they will play to uh, 15 in this or not. So we'll see here. Mm -hmm. Typically, uh, yep. Typically, I think it is 15. So. In this case, NCOE is two points away. Okay. Oh, Angie, by the way, says, make a difference. They'd be involved with the 70s Halloween concert on Sunday. Okay, so it has changed. Thank you, because we were worried. We wanted to cover it. We yes. wanted to cover the band concert, and like, how are we going to do it if we're in Vienna? Hopefully next year we'll have two sets of equipment and some more people involved, and we can cover two places at once, but... One of my favorite Halloween movies is The Ghost of Mr. Chicken starring Don Knotts. And they have that organ in the film. Mm -hmm. Man, I would love to hear that organ just be at that concert Sunday. <laughs> you know, you never know with Josh. Yeah. You never know what he's going to do. They're, his concerts are always so much fun. And it's about as electric as, you know, this volleyball game is going to be tonight. It's just You can't help but get involved and yeah. get excited. I wonder if the band is here tonight. I'm not sure. Not yeah, I heard they were here, right, last week? Oh. The volleyball game I missed. Okay, yeah, they were. Yeah. Let's see, that may be it. That is it. Yeah, That's yeah. all for the games. JV. We will be back with Varsity Action here shortly. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Do you have a check that needs deposited and don't have time to make a trip to the bank? No problem. With Mobile Deposit at People's National Bank, just snap a picture of the check with your smartphone, and with a couple of clicks, it's deposited into your account. Depositing a check with a PNB 2 go mobile banking app is just that easy. Just tap, snap, and deposit. Plus, it's free. Download the PNB 2 go mobile banking app today to get started. People's National Bank. We make banking easy. Member FDIC. Wireless or service fees may apply. Raylan James Marketing, marketing done your way. No matter how small your business is, we're here to help with everything from social media management to search engine optimization. Needing a website or business cards? A flyer for your upcoming event? We do that too. Hometown people helping out our hometown businesses. Contact us today at 618-315-3611 
or email claire at raylanjames.com to see how we can help your business grow. Go Mules! Conard Financial Group can help you build a diverse portfolio to keep you on track with your financial goals. Conard Financial Group can help you with retirement planning from 401ks to IRAs, 401k rollovers, college saving plans, life and long-term care insurance, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and certificates of deposits. Over 46 years of combined experience in the financial industry. They'll help you plan and invest for your future, whatever your goals may be. Give them a call or stop by Conard Financial Group, LLC, investing in the community since 2003. Need a place to hold indoor practices, athletic training, or a birthday party? Give Carter Trucking a call at 618-842-2022 and ask about availabilities at the Carter Sports Academy on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Need any type of excavating work done? Carter Trucking can help you out. You can also get your rock, dirt, sand, or gravel at Carter Trucking. Plus, ask about bulk mulch, decorative landscaping rock, and asphalt patch. Jeremy and Nikki and the crew at Carter Trucking in Fairfield say go mules. At Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, Stephen and Tiffany say you're not just a customer, but a part of their family. Open 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday right next to Save-A-Lot in Fairfield. They feature a full line of over-the-counter products like high-potency orthomolecular vitamins. Plus, Stephen says those specially compounded pain creams are back at Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield right next to Save-A-Lot. Hashtag No Tan Lines wants to wish the Lady Mules a safe and successful volleyball season. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield has 14 tanning beds for your convenience. That includes levels 1 through 4 and stand-up beds. They've got accessories, lotions, and more. Plus check out their line of boutique clothing in all sizes, including plus sizes. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-6336 to get your tan on. All right, we are back on the air. We are back, and look at this crowd lined up out there, ready for the varsity girls to come out and take the court. There they Here are. they come. Love it. Even the JV girls were out there showing yeah. their support. And that's the longest lineup that we've seen. That is. I think the first home game, it was about one-eighth that size. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it just, it's kind of kept growing, so that's a great thing to see. It's part of the culture here. Yep, it really, really is. So, All right, what do we got to... What do we got to talk about here? It's NCOE. Yes. Right? And they finally lost their first match this past weekend. Yeah, they did. They lost to Mount Carmel, and... I was up north on Saturday visiting my alma mater, Eastern Illinois, and I come home and look at some scores, and all of a sudden I saw the NCOE lost, and I looked and lost to Mount Carmel. Uh, lost to Mount Carmel on three sets. In fact, that third set was 16-14. It was that close of a third wow, set. Wow, wow. And so Mount Carmel getting the win, and Clara, Lady Mules, they've won nine straight, and one of those nine wins came from Mount Carmel. Really? Yeah, so... That was back, if you recall, when Mount Carmel came here that Monday and then Edwards County was that Tuesday mm -hmm. and Carmine was that Thursday. It was that same uh, win. Okay. okay. Yeah, so that wow. was one of the nine wins that Lady Mills had beat against Mount Carmel. So that's a common opponent right there, a recent common opponent. But still, um, Fairfield again, 23-5 and five overall, NCOE 33-1 and one overall. And now one question someone asked me was, would Fairfield and NCOE meet again in the postseason? And the answer is no, because NCOE is Class 1A, Fairfield is Class 2A. Okay. So if they were the same class, there would be a chance, depending how it all would play out. Yeah. But in this case, they would not meet again in the postseason. But still, though, these two teams did take on each other at the Lady Mule kickoff tournament back in August. But let's be honest here, guys. A lot of water has rolled beneath the bridge ever since right. then. Right, right. So. And the lady, I mean, they have just uh, really improved this season. So it's going to be an exciting matchup tonight to see how much 
I mean, just see the uh, how evenly matched they are. So and I do want to chime in really fast, too. Go ahead. Angie Tucker, our just knowledgeable woman here, giving us all the information that we need. Yes. Um, on Thursday night, so senior night, the volleyball game with Sisney, it, it is beach slash splash pad theme oh. for senior night. So 100% of the gate... Um, admissions will be donated to the splash pad and they will also have a donation bucket so come here willing to give and to donate because this is such a great project that is so needed in our community and you know that's what I love about Fairfield one of the things I love yes when we set our mind on something it is just so amazing to see how well the community reacts and are willing to give and help and donate and um, volunteer their time or, or whatever. So come out on Thursday night, senior night, volleyball game, dress up in a fun beach splash pad theme for senior night. And um, you know what to get in? It's $3, I think. Throw a five in there. Yeah. Donate a couple extra dollars and it all goes towards a good cause. So yeah, and that, that's, that's very insightful too. Thank you, Angie, for the info. Yes, thank you, Angie. Appreciate it. By the way, I was talking about how they how uh, both these teams met back in August. The final scores, in case you're wondering of that one, Fairfield, excuse me, NCOE won 25 to 20 in that first set. The second set, Fairfield won that one 25 to 16. And in that third set, NCOE won 25 to 22. So again, that was back on August 27th at the Lady Mule Kickoff Tournament. So Wow. So I just want to go ahead and mention that too because this means second time these two teams will face. This is the second time tonight they'll face against each other and both places the meal bar. Wow, that is crazy. Well, I'm excited to see it happen and and this place is just really filling up tonight. It is, it is, it is going to be a full. packed house. And, yeah, and by the way, NCOE, give them credit. They brought a nice crowd over here too. Yes, so. they did. And their fans have been so nice and friendly. Every yes. single one I've interacted with so far. They walked, you know, we got here pretty early tonight to set up, <laughs> yeah. and um, there were some walking up here, and they kind of came up on the side we're set up on, which is the guest side. Yeah. And they're looking around, they're like, well, I think a lot of our fans are on the other side, you know. <laughs> said, it doesn't matter. Sit where you want. I said, we have home people sit on this side. And yes. Home people sit on that side. So wherever you feel comfortable. So, but anyways, yeah. they've been been really nice fans we'll see how that how that plays over into the varsity game <laughs> if it gets a little bit intense <laughs> but it's all good but we saw though in a jv we saw some intense moments and uh oh, yeah. and, and like i said i expect it to carry over to varsity here tonight mm -hmm. it's always been kind of a rivalry a rivalry and even though it's not a conference game because you know, both teams, both respective teams, actually have won their conference championships. Right? Congratulations again, Lady Mills, for winning the conference championship last week. But uh, this is a rivalry game here because Fairfield has taken on NCOE and other sports, not just volleyball, but basketball. I talked about that a little bit earlier. So uh, there's still a bit of a rivalry between both schools. By the way, I'm Derek Dunn, Claire voted alongside Bob Ellis. Hey, Grady Simpson. Oh, I'm sorry, Grady the Pirate Simpson <laughs> down there on the, down on the camera. Uh, but we but we thank you for joining us here on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. By the way, the live chat is open if you guys want to chip in. And we've had people from California, Indianapolis, Ohio, um, <laughs> you know, say hello to us. We greatly appreciate you guys. Help spread the word about Mule Nation. And uh, we also have Mule Nation apparel. If you guys uh, want that, also with Christmas around the corner, a nice Christmas gift. Yeah. I actually bought me a hoodie the other day. Um, went up to Minnie's Sew Shop, and I was like, I want something different. And she had the cutest green hoodies. I saw you like, wearing that yeah! yesterday. I love that hoodie. The that color was nice. The individual pockets in the front. And I know I love the color. I'm like, it's not, you know, typical mule color, but um, I'm, I was excited. And I got the just the little corner patch on it instead yeah. of the whole front. And I thought it turned out cute, so... Well, think about it this way. St. Patrick's Day next year. Right. You're I'm not, prepared for whatever game yeah. is on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> I got my green Mule Nation attire. But I need to go up there and get a long sleeve tee. My my T-shirts I can't wear right now. It's so stinking cold. It is cold outside. I'm, 
Not used to it yet. I know. I'm like, where did fall go? And then it's supposed to be 80 this weekend. So it's Can't make up his mind. I mean, southern Illinois weather at its finest right there. Well, and also it goes back to the meme that I saw of, uh, what was it, the Karate Kid uh, with uh, Jackie Chan. And it was like, let me tell you about the weather in Illinois. Put your coat on. <laughs> take, take it off. <laughs> Put it back on and take it off. <laughs> it's exactly the way it is. And, like, later, I mean, we talked about the Vienna football game. You know, the yeah. of Vienna this Saturday. High about 78 to 80. There might be cramps. Um, there might be, you know, dehydration again. <laughs> Here we are, you know, thinking that it's going to be freezing cold and... But again, we'll have that game for you here on Mule Nation. Again, senior night. Yes. Talked about that here Thursday, Thursday. at the Mule Barn. And again, it, it, any of these seniors here, we got five seniors for the Lady Mules. And I want to mention them. Chelsea Cuff, Kate Book, Alexis, uh, Alexi Klein, Alexis Klein, Kaylee Barger, and Lucy Britt. These five seniors have done an outstanding job in all their years here at FCHS. So I'm trying to think. Have, have we gotten them all on the broadcast yet? I know uh, we had... Mabry Ellis. I know we had oh Riley. She's not a senior. She's a junior. Um, I'm trying to think. That was when they joined. We the had Chelsea. We had Chelsea come on. Yes. Right after um, homecoming. Yes. So who do we have left? Who has not been on the maybe breakfast? was Kaylee on there? I Kaylee or Lexi? I don't. I don't remember them being on there. Um, it could have been a game I missed, but I don't remember. I've slept since then. I don't yeah, know. <laughs> I don't remember them being on. So we need to try to get them on tonight and next Thursday night or this Thursday night. Um, yes. We really like to give the ch the students a chance to speak and kind of get yeah, them absolutely. used to talking on the mic and. Sure, and you know it's <coughs> it's always fun to talk to the students after <coughs> and, and going back to last night. How about Peyton Nala? Did a great job on wow. the Wow, um, I was so impressed with him. I yeah. mean, he just, he knew the plays. He knew the players. He yeah. um, has better eyesight than myself and Mark. So <laughs> <laughs> he was able to really add a lot to the common commentation. And he did, he did an excellent, excellent job. And for his debut, I mean, he was great at it. So we hope to have, have Peyton back for basketball season. That's coming up. And by the way, uh, if a business wants to sponsor or advertise for basketball Yeah, season. we are in the process of um, getting some basketball, basketball sponsors right now. Um, we do have our all six sports sponsors um, that signed up for all six sports from the get-go. And we are so thankful for, for them. You know, they believed in us and, and gave us a chance when we had no numbers to back it up. We had no proof that it was going to work. You know, really no proof that we could make it work and they look just where we are now. look where we are i mean yeah. it has just been such a huge success and we're so thankful for them but we are going to go out and you know reach out to some people um sign some more people on for basketball season whether that be if they want to be boys basketball just girls basketball or boys and girls basketball um we have packages for that we also have availability for if you have a particular game that yes. you know will be a you know more watched game or senior night or whatever whatever it is you can just purchase advertisement for the for a single game as well so if you're interested in that give me a call um claire 618-315-3611 or shoot me or mark an email yes. claire at raylandjames.com or mark at raylandjames.com um so yeah, that'll be starting soon. We got the winter sports schedule announced, or not announced, but done and ready and ready to announce. And then I was like, wait, I feel like I need to wait till after postseason <laughs> for yeah. volleyball. So I've held off on posting it. I'm so excited to release it. But um, I think I counted it up. And between boys and girls basketball, we're going to be doing about 40 broadcast plus because of tournaments, you yeah, know, depending coming. on how far we go. So it's going to be a busy winter. I hope you guys are ready for it. But we are going to do as many boys and girls basketball games as we can, um, weather dependent. Hopefully, that you know, the is. weather cooperates and we're able to travel. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be fun. I also check back in on the live stream chat here. Herschel French, um, his kids, Sellers and Gray, say go Mules and go Coach Chet. They're really close with uh, Coach Chet Snyder. 
Yeah. Um, and he said, also, yes, y'all are awesome for getting this going. It's awesome to be able to watch across the country. So thank you. Thank you, Herschel. I think I it's really awesome we have people from across the country I watching. Right. Like, that's, just a, that's awesome. And I was noticing last night, you know, I got the night off last night. I scheduled yeah. this JV. My friend Brandon Biddles from yes. high school asked us to broadcast the J last JV game. And I said, sure, I'll do it thinking I would do it and like, you know, sweet talk one or two of you guys <laughs> into coming and you guys are all awesome and everyone jumped in on the opportunity and oh, yeah. I ended up not having to be there and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like This didn't work out, but anyways. I want to um, thank you for giving us the opportunity yes. to be able to come well, to these games. I love doing it. Thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun and we're learning, but I feel oh, yeah. like we've, we've gotten it almost down to a science now. But the one thing I love about technology is as soon as you get confident, yes, something's going to mess up. Yeah. <laughs> so like tonight we were getting ready for the broadcast. I'm like, oh, wait, we're not plugged into Ethernet. You know, that might be an issue. Or, But um, also for me is that I work at the college during the day. So I don't see right. these athletes, you know, these local student athletes during the day, like in the classroom, studying, doing homework, taking a test. Or but you don't even get to be around out, outside in town, around, you know, right. business people and stuff either. But when I'm out there in the field, out there in the gym, either I'm watching or broadcasting, right. I get to see them have fun, be competitive, succeed, and right. win. And I think we have great – The it's all about the kids here. It, yeah. That we have great kids here. And not only that, but we have great coaches here, uh, the teachers, the administration here at FCHS. They owe, I mean, seriously, because Mule Nation would not have taken off here had it not been no, for it's, the high school. Yeah, the high school was so supportive. You know, Mark and I kind of chatted about this idea after uh, Mike Dree yes. was kind of the originator of RJ Marketing going into multimedia. And, and I brought Mark on, and we kind of chatted about what we could do, and this was our idea. But we wanted it to be Mule Nation. You know, we just liked the name. We liked the school spirit it has behind it and um the school board we went and met with them kind of gave a presentation and they really jumped up jumped on board and we're so thankful for that and for their support they also and colin mcduffie his media class yes colin mcduffie has been a huge help they've i don't know if you guys have noticed the commercials yes. hopefully you're not muting them give our sponsors a listen <laughs> there you know and also because the students um have been recording some of those uh commercials for us which it's super cool and such a great experience for them. Um, and then, you know, giving them broadcast experience or camera work experience or the soundboard, yeah. um, just that real life and even technology, them coming and helping us set up and tear down and, you know, learning all the different cords and wires and craziness that goes with it. Um, it's, it's a good experience for them. I wish, you know, when, I, when we were in school, yeah, this wasn't this. even a thing. Yeah. We had dial up, I think, and like you had oh, to pay yeah. twenty cents to send a text <laughs> message. Like we're we're getting old, Derek. But yeah, I'm I'm already feeling that. But anyway, go on. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, we are so thankful for the opportunity and thank you both for the support. And we uh, know we have some kinks to still work through, but we really do appreciate all of you guys watching and and tuning in and being so supportive. So all right, well, I want to go ahead and let's go back. I want to focus on NCO East that's are warming up right now. They entered tonight's contest 33-1 and one overall. Their lone loss occurred last weekend. We talked about that a few minutes ago, the Edwards County Tournament against Mount Carmel. It all starts with Moorhead State uh, uh, commit Holland Everett. She's a six foot three senior. Uh, you'll see her up front as a middle blocker. Is she number hitter. 14? I think she was just uh, uh, right there in the middle. Number 14, yeah. Yeah, on 14. Your roster. Yeah, right. yeah, 14, yes. Yeah, she was just going up for um, – Yeah. A and kill. In fact, like Emerson did about a month ago, she just recorded her 1,000th career kill against Gallatin County a week ago. So another player to keep an eye on is Holland's sister, Hensley. Hensley is a sophomore, not nearly as tall as Holland, but still a good player nonetheless. Other players, by the way, uh, Maya Scroggins, uh, Lydia Vineyard, uh, Bree Volman, Avery Black, Elise Horton. Uh, talked about Hensley already. Also, a couple of players that were on the JV team that you'll see out there tonight, Aubrey and Hayden Knight, both of them freshmen. So, NCOE, Jacqueline Milton, I was talking to her earlier. She said, I'm going to go about 10 deep. I've got four seniors, three juniors, one sophomore, and two freshmen. 
And uh, but for the Lady Mules, though, Claire, Bob, um, Holland Everett, there's that, there's Holland right there. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> what the Lady, oh. what the the Lady Mules got to do is they have to control the front line against. Everett because she's going to be one of the tallest players, probably the tallest player so far at this point that they faced all season, unless if there was a team that had a player taller than Holland, but also try to block, but also try to score points around Holland if you can. Man, I'm just watching here, and um, yeah, she's going to be one to, one to watch out for tonight. And maybe the battle of the kills yes. attempt. <laughs> well, when you have two... And, guys, think of it this way. We got two 1,000 career yeah. kill killers in Emerson Robbins and Holland Everett, and yep. you don't see that very often. Yep, that is amazing. And she is a senior, right? Is Holland, said? yes. Yep. And, and uh, Emerson's a junior. so Right. So this is going to be shaping up to be a dandy here tonight. <laughs> and, again, thank you for joining us here on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. And I want to say hi to John Pearson, who is watching for, from Wood River, Illinois. He hi, is a former FCHS teacher and coach from the 80s. So thanks for tuning in. That's what my story I started earlier about the JV game last night. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. There were actually people from Edwards County yeah. watching our live stream yeah. tuning in. Whenever I was reading some of the comments, yeah. it was people that I knew. I was yeah. like, oh, wow. So I thought that was really cool, too. You know, this isn't really something we're marketing a lot um, other than, I mean, Facebook posts here and there. Yeah. Um, it's not anything we've put in on the radio. I mean, no. we've, done, we've done an ad um, thinking in the press and stuff. But anyways, we're not advertising it outside of Fairfield. Is my point. Yeah. And we're now. having people from the different schools actually tuning in and watching it. So we're so thankful for them, too. And um, another thing to keep in mind, if you are a business interested in advertising, it's not just reaching local. We had over, what, a 400 views last night on yeah. the JV game. So it was a nice little surprise broadcast and turned out to be rather successful. So And also, too... Uh, We've had over 10,000 views, you know, out of all the over. videos on, on. Right. So it's really growing. We do have the national anthem, by the way, and then following that, we'll have the starting lines from both teams introduced here. So stay tuned here.
the senior outside hitter number five, William Vineyard. The senior middle hitter number 14, Holland Everett. A junior GS number four, Avery Black. A sophomore outside hitter number nine, Hensley Everett. A junior GS number 20, Elise Horton. A freshman GS number 12, Aubrey Knight. First and right side, hitter number 13, Hayden Knight. And starting at Libero, junior number 7, Hannah Taylor. The uh, starting lineup has been introduced for both teams. What an outstanding atmosphere already. Great crowd on both sides and costume theme here tonight. You may have seen that during the JV game. Again, JV game, NCOE won that one in three sets. Fairville won the first set in JV, 25 to 23. Second set was won by NCOE, 25 to 15. Then NCOE won the third set in JV, 15 to four. Getting ready to go underway here with this one, guys. Buckle up and strap in and here we go with again, Letty Mule's uh, volleyball. <laughs> Mule Nation powered by RJ Marketing. I'm Derek Dunn, Bob Ellis alongside. We have Claire Vaughn, keep an eye on our stream like a hawk. And also we have Grady Simpson, Grady the Pirate Simpson on camera. Doing a great job on the camera over there too. Yeah, I Grady does that. a great job. He's one of the students in the media class. Here we go. Again, Lady Mules, big night here tonight. Lady Mules 23 and five overall, NCOE 33 and one overall. Thanks for joining us on Mule Nation. Live chat is open. We've had heard from several of you already. And tell us where you're watching from. Maybe also tell us what player you're cheering for on the Lady Mules team. I know, uh, I know Riley's family up north in the uh, Charleston, Champaign area, they always say, Expecting a big night on number 10. Uh, so hey, we'll uh, we'll pass along here. Uh, pass along that here in the live chat. Claire will keep an eye on us here as well. But a big game here tonight again. Fairfield 23 and five overall. NCOE 33 and one overall. Lady Mills have won nine straight. NCOE just had their first loss over the weekend against Mount Carmel, the Edwards County Tournament. And already this is an amped up atmosphere. And Lucy Britt will get the first one. By the way, great to see Kaylee Barger out there on the floor after having that ankle injury a week ago against Edwards County. So great to see Kaylee out there. Did not play at all last week. Here's Lucy with the serve. Nice serve fielder right there in the back row as it's hit over that time. On the attack is into That's Ian. Out. Oh, oh. Point for NCOE. Yeah. Yep. Maya Scroggins, a senior, with the point for NCOE. Maya, M-I-A-H, but it's pronounced Maya. Here's a serve from the Cardinals into and the net. Straight into the net. And a point for the Lady Mules, 1-1. One, one. Did you guys do any of the um, live chat while I was away? Did not, no. Okay, Patrick Hart um, asked about Kathy Black, being an assistant coach for NCOE. 
Probably the best coach in Southern Illinois history, he says. And then Dax Peach is cheering for Mabry Ellis. And oh. on Everett with the kill for NCOE. Kathy Black has been coaching a long time, so. Two to one, NCOE has an early lead in this first set varsity action. We just got underway. And now we have Bree Volman, the senior setter. Volman with a nice serve, fielder right there by Britt. And Riley Edwards pushes that one toward the back. And so E collects. This time they're on the attack. Blocked right there by Book and the Lady Mules. And on the attack again is the Cardinals. Great block again. Fairfield, they set it up this time. Robbins blocked by Ah, uh, Block. Again, Holland Everett, six foot three in height. The Moorhead State commit. Gotta try to find a way to get around her if you can. Or. Try to hit it right before she leaps. And that was into the net. Into the net again. It's going to be back to Fairfield. Well, Bree Bowman served it into the net. And for the Lady Mills, they'll take it. 3 2. Lady Mills, both of those two points have come by way of service errors committed by NCOE. And now we have Emerson Robbins serving. Mo with a nice serve. Good diving right serve there. there. Diving on the floor is Taylor. Oh, thank you, Ma. I forgot to add the scoreboard back on. Thank you. Here's a serve right there. Oh, get That's a punch out. to the Tie game. I have a feeling this is going to be a back and forth game really close. I agree with you, Bob. I think There so you go, Ma Snyder. Oh, hi, Ma. <laughs> she said, I need the scoreboard, please. I forgot to add it back <laughs> in. Emerson with the serve. Filled right there by Taylor. Oh, oh wow. Emerson, that was a floor. good save. And Barger hits this one right over. NCOE, they set up for the attack. Blocked by the Lady Mills, Kate Book. This one's hit up high into the rafters. Brent over to Barger on the attack. And, and that is a point. point. Wow, that was a really good volley there. I mean, just back and forth. So many close calls. <laughs> well, Bob, it's early, so strap in and hang on tight. <laughs> but I bought this. Great to see Kaylee out there on the floor again. Yes, I agree. I was worried about her after last week. There was talk, Chet told me earlier, maybe regionals, but here tonight she's playing out there on the floor, and Sarah Turner does a great job, the athletic trainer. There's another serve from Mo. This one's deep, held in the back right there by Taylor Libero. This time on the attacker of the Cardinals. Nice dig. Barger, over to Britt, one hands this one over. They set this up for Everett, little tap on Just hit it right into the spot where no one was, couldn't get to it in time. I think it hit off the right hand of Kate Book. Little tap by Everett that time, 4 4. And we have Vera checking in from Philo, Illinois. She says, watching number nine, Emerson Robbins. Thanks, Mule Nation. Thank you, Vera. Thank you, Vera. Hi there. Kaylee on the attack. Oh, oh right into the net. Right there at the tape of the net. So, man, this is going to be an exhausting night for these girls. They have to work so hard for every point. And you gotta really play, limit your mistakes here. That's another thing, limit the errors, limit the mistakes. You don't want to commit too many of them. Riley sets up to somewhere, Kate Book! And COE having some trouble. Can they hit it over? And they do. They do. Oh, oh. Brett diving on the floor, and Barger on the attack. And a yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. They just oh, keep finding that go. empty spot right there, right dead center. That time they were able to get it back over though. Chelsea Cuff, the homecoming queen, will serve, and Kenzie <laughs> Turner also in. Hey, royalty, I'm telling I you. I know, folks. royalty, we are in the presence. Five to five, tied up here, first set. There's a serve from Chelsea. Almost a service ace. Nice dive right there by NCOE. And Good Riley. Save Riley. Hits this one up high, Emerson on the attack. NCOE hits oh. this one to the net, and Holland Ooh. just hits it right back over to Mo. Almost was not able Riley, to get that one oh, over. Oh, into the net, just tapped it. Not a lot of strength right there. Substitution. Lucy Britt out there again. Kate Book will have a breather. Six to five, NCOE leads first set varsity action. Here's Holland Everett. Holland with the serve, that just tickled the net. Riley sets it this time over to Turner. NCOE on the attack. And a penalty oh, into UE, a point for the Lady Mules. Into the net. <laughs> you Mabry can't Ellis. do that. I know. Mabry <laughs> Ellis will serve. That was a defensive specialist, a junior. 
6-6 even. This one carries right over. Battle of the front. Oh, no, oh, nice block. Blocked by Riley. NCOE on the attack again. Britt hits this one up high over to Riley. Attack is Barger, but a point for NCOE. Double hit violation committed by Fairfield. Now we have for NCOE, Avery Black, the junior defensive specialist. Black with the serve, fielded right there by Britt. Riley sending up this time over to Barger on the attack. And a point for yeah. the Eagles! <laughs> Kaylee Barger making her presence felt early as she swings the sledgehammer down. <laughs> seven to seven. Lady Mills tied it up. Boy, what an amped up atmosphere here tonight at the Mill Barn. There's Barger. Oh, served it. Didn't get a lot of lift. Point NCOE. Serving here will be actually Holland's sister Hensley Everett, the sophomore outside hitter. Not nearly as tall as Holland, about maybe 5'10". Still <laughs> Only 5'10", yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I dream to be that tall someday. And she's only a sophomore. <laughs> Give her time. Yeah, that is true. Blocked right there by Mo. And blocked nice. it by Riley. Yeah. The junior tandem of Riley and Emerson blocking right there at the front line. 8-8. Eight, eight. And Lucy Britt will serve. We go back to the top of the serving order. There's a serve from Lucy. Nice serve right there. Blocked right there by Riley. Hits this one up high in the sky. Over to Britt. Robbins on the attack. Riley, right, no one does. <laughs> so that's what you got to do whenever you have someone that tall on the other team. You just got to hit it where they're not at. <laughs> that is a great point because... Emerson found that open lane and she went right for it. Nine to eight, Lady Mills lead by one. There's another serve from Lucy, built in the back row by NCOE. They set up for the attack, blocked right there by the Lady Mules. Nice. And little one-hander right there by Riley. They set it up again, blocked again! They just cannot get that ball over. Come on, girls. Riley, over to Brett. No on the attack. <laughs> oh, oh, no way. Oh, wow. No. Oh. no way. Oh, that was a penalty. <laughs> Kate Book swings the ball one handed. Wow. And the girls. Mabry Ellis diving on the floor. Edwards on attack followed by Robbins. And the point. Well, Lady Mills. <laughs> Some incredible saves there from both, both teams, and Lady Mules were able to get that point. Especially with that NCOE committed a penalty right there. <laughs> 10 to 8. Probably saw the reaction on camera as well. There's a serve from Lucy. That one's a deep serve filled in the back row. Holland just hits it right over. On the attack that nice time save. is Vineyard. Mo on the attack. Right there in the back again by Everett. Little tip shot over. Riley passing it over to Mo again. And a point for Everett. Right, right over those two in the front. 11 to 8, Fairfield leading NCOE first set. And Lucy Britt will serve. Whew. This was filled in the back by Everett, Hensley Everett, that is out! And a point for the Lady Mules. Lady Mules getting a nice four point lead here. And time out on the floor, NCOE will be right back. You're watching Lady Mules Volleyball at Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Looking for something comfy to watch the big game on? Rush Appliance and Furniture in Fairfield has got you covered with a huge selection of Lazy Boy recliners, love seats and sofas. There's also mattresses, bed frames, bedroom suites, dining sets, appliances and more. Plus, you'll get world-class service at Rush Appliance and Furniture. 118 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-4096. All right, we are back. We're back with 17 seconds left to go in the timeout. What a match this has been so far. Double D, hope you're staying with us over there, buddy. Choking. Well, <laughs> when water helps, it helps. I'm, I'm going to say, but I mean, 12 to 8. Lady Mills, biggest leader of the night for them. Mm -hmm. the biggest leader of the night for either team, really. 12 to 8. And Lady Mills, see, Jack with Melton called that timeout of NCOE trying to kind of stem this Lady Mills run a little bit, try to freeze them if they can. And Lucy Britt will serve again. Lucy doing a great job serving here. She's done a great job serving all season long. And there's Lucy with another nice serve. 
Field in the back. We'll see what both teams have done here following this timeout. Emerson Robbins on the attack. That one's long. Did not get the corner. Point for NCOE, so the Cardinals will get the ball back. Are we sure a player didn't touch that? <laughs> no, Beardell. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, I know. I know you were hoping. <laughs> Hannah Taylor, the junior libero, just served. And on the attack is Mo again. And a point for the Lady Hills. There we go. Got it right in the back there. And Mo just swinging that hammer down. <laughs> Could be the anvil next. The Terminator. Gracie Atwood checking in. And for Mabry Ellis. Riley Edwards will serve. 13 to nine. There's a serve from Riley. That one just barely carries right over. On the attack is Everett. That time Holland Everett right in front of Lucy Britt. Point for NCOE, 13-10. Do have a substitution. Hayton Knight, the freshman, will check in. Played some in the JV match earlier. There's a serve from the Cardinals. Field over there by Lucy Britt. This one hits up high. Edwards on tag by way. Kate Book, a little one-hander. Field in the back by Taylor on tag is Holland Everett. Oh, oh Riley hand. doing the splits out there. Riley slow to get up. She does get up. That was off the hand of Atwood. 13 to 11. Again, if you're on that front line, you got to try to block against Holland Everett. And when you're 6'3", 6 6'4", six that height advantage comes in handy. It does. She's able to just put it right down over them. This one is oh. hit over by with NCOE, and they get the point. That one was hit to the net by Lady Mills. Now NCOE, they were down by four before that timeout was called. I know they're down by one. There's a serve from the Cardinals over to Britt. Now over to Riley, hits this one up high. Emerson just bumps it right back over. NCOE, they look to this time and be on the attack that time by way of Vineyard. Riley over to Mo off the hand of Taylor. NCOE having some trouble, they bump it right back over. Britt passing it over to Riley. Riley sets up for Kate Book, little tapper. <laughs> and a point for Kate Book! <laughs> Kate Book, book it, says Kate! <laughs> <laughs> book it. Oh my gosh. 14 to 12. I think the book's going to have to make a shirt about that. I know. I Emerson Robbins with a serve. I was a bullet of a serve from Emerson. And into the net. No. Server oh. saves the point for Lady Mules that time. 15 to 12. Lady Mules extend their lead up by three. They can see the night has been four. And Emerson will serve again. There's the serve. Filler in by Taylor having trouble. And a point. Server saves. Lady Mules. Let's make it be a five point lead, 16 to 12. Lightning Mules are in a nice groove here. Did you say five point lead? No, I said that's Let's make, it, make it. Oh, okay. I thought you said it was a five point lead. It's <laughs> Bob, some wrong math. Well, Bob, I'll tell you what, I think you may need some coffee right now. I here. think I might. It has been a long day, but this is too good of a game to lead. <laughs> There's Mo Robbins with the kill attempt. Filler right in the back by NCOE on the attack that time. Oh. As Knight. I was watching NCOE. I was kind of seeing what the team was like. And uh, Knight, Hayden Knight, one of the players that I was impressed with for NCOE. So 16 to 13. Always good to have some players that come off the bench and provide a little bit of a pop. There's Riley setting it this time over to Mo Emerson. Dang. That was filling the back that by had to hurt. Over to Britt. Riley over to Barger on the attack. Mm, and that one's long. It's a little over. Barger had a few kills early, about two or three kills early. 16 to 14, two point lead for the Lady Mules. Would also like to mention this is a non-conference game and server's error, Lady Mules will get a point. Server's error right there that time by Lydia Vineyard. And Chelsea Cuff, homecoming queen, will serve again. 17 to 14. Lady Mules lead. Again, this is a non-conference game here tonight. Lady Mules 23-5 overall. NCOE 33-1 overall. And up right there by Taylor on the attack right there. Everett blocked right there by the Lady Mules. Good blocking right there. And so this time over to Mo off the hands of Everett. And NCOE having some trouble, but they're able to bump it right back over by way of Hensley Everett. Riley setting up this time over to Barge, a little one-hander. 
Cardinals trying to hit it over, and it's in the net! A point for the Lady Mules. 18 to 14. I feel like that play ended before we oh. realized it did. Okay. But I'm not exactly, I'm, I missed what happened to end the, end the play. Did you happen to catch it, Bob? I, I did not. I thought I heard a whistle, but I wasn't really for sure. Anyway, here we go. Here's on the end. Oh, oh, nice. oh, oh. Blocked! Blocked by Gracie Atwood! Gracie Atwood. As she blocks Hensley Everett. 19 to 14. Timeout, NCLE! <laughs> We will take one, too. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Looking for something special for that special someone? Let Black's Flowers and Gifts in downtown Fairfield help with a custom floral or silk arrangement, balloon or candy bouquet, or gift item. Give Black's a call at 618-847-7076 for pickup or delivery, or just stop by and say hi at 310 East Main in Fairfield. Black's Flowers and Gifts, your florist with a personal touch. And we are back on. Look at that, Derek. We've got that five-point lead you were wanting. Yeah, I'll tell you what, 19-14, Fairfield League against COE. And again, kind of, you know, Jack with Milton called that timeout. Guys, uh, what a thrilling first set this has been here. I'm telling you, you guys, I told you you're in for a treat here, and so far it's... You were right, for sure. By the way, also, uh, Ruth Ann Rams is saying, woohoo, dig Lady Mules. Well, hello there, Ruth Ann. Great to hear from you. Over 120 people watching here on Mule Nation. Oh, misjudged that. Oh, Everett misjudged that feed to her. And a point for Lady Mules, 20 to 14. Make it be a six point lead. Biggest lead, biggest lead of the night for the Lady Mules. Chelsea Cuff will serve again. Here's Cuff with the serve. Fielder right there and back right there by Taylor. On the attack is NCOE, little one-hander. Gracie hits it over to Kaylee. Emerson on the attack. And up high that time into the rafters. On the attack this time. Blocked right oh. by Lady Mules. That was going to go to Holland Everett. Not the case right there. Riley sets up this time over to Barger. NCOE, they set up this time over to Vineyard on the outside. Emerson diving on the floor. Giving the ball to the floor. Kaylee Barger one-hands this one. Over to Vineyard. Cuff. On the attack is Riley. Filling the back row. Part oh, for the Mules. She hit that, but it just did not go in the air. 21 14. I want to chime in really fast. I was checking in on our Facebook, and I want to say hi to Ruth McMean. She says, Go Lady Mules. And then Kathy Feely posted a picture. Um, she says cheering on the mules at Ma's Mule Barn in Champaign tonight. <laughs> I love it. I love it's it. so cute. Ron Blake says good oh. luck mules. Um, and then I also want to say hi to my sister-in-law Blair Heisner. She's watching my kids for me tonight oh. so I can be here and they're watching Mule Nation at her house tonight. So Aunt Blair's the best. Hi Blair. Also I saw Raquel, her sister Raquel. Oh uh, yeah, at your class reunion. Yeah, so I'll say hi to Raquel as well. Oh, it goes into the Raptors. Emerson. And right up back over by way of Barger. NCOE, they said this time, and that's a point and a kill for NCOE. 21 to 16. Fairfield with the lead in this first set. Varsity action to Holland Everett will serve. Everett, the daughter of Chad Everett. Chad was a quarterback over at Edwards County years ago. Six foot eight tall Chad Everett. Riley on take by wave. Emerson Robbins diving on the floor is Everett. That's home one that is, and she hits it right back over. Britt over to Riley. This time over Kenzie Turner. A point for Kenzie! <laughs> wow. Every point literally is electric in here. I want to say hi to Julie and Vern Hudson and Harley. Kinetic Sand Homework and Lady Mules Volleyball on Mule Nation. Thanks hi, for the picture. Hi, Julie. Hi, Vern. I worked with Vern's dad <laughs> years ago for Street and Bridge. Okay. 22-16. Lady Mules with the lead. That one bounces in. A point. <laughs> a B. All right. Double D, I got to tell you. Your book it. It's catching on. Jeff Taylor just commented. <laughs> Go, Lady Mules. Book it. <laughs> I can't make fun of you anymore. <laughs> I'm uh, setting, a, setting a nationwide train. Right, yeah. Global. All right, 22-17. Here's a point right there. Well, a point attempt right there by Barger. On attack is Hensley Everett, a point for Everett. Again, Hensley, the younger sister of Holland Everett. 
22 18. He's putting that one right on the edge there in the back, just hard to get to. And that was a laser. That was hard hit, too, as you mentioned, Bob. I agree. A laser. There's Lucy Britt hits this one over to Riley Emerson on the attack from three meter. They said it this time. Attacked with it by NCOE. That's a point for the Cardinals. Cardinals trying to cut away this deficit, trying to chip away here. Lady Mules three points away for 25. Timeout, Chad Snyder. Oh, for Lady Mules. All right, we will take one, two. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Carnaby Square, your fashion leader at 115 East Main in downtown Fairfield, wishes the Mules good luck this year. See Christy and all the Carnaby girls for the personal attention you deserve. Serving the area for more than 42 years, Carnaby Square has famous name brand clothing, corky shoes and Brighton jewelry, watches, handbags and sunglasses. Plus they've got men's belts and wallets. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday until 7 on Thursday. Like them on Facebook and check out their live videos every Thursday at 5.30. And we are back, getting ready to continue on with this set. It is 22 to 19. Your Lady Mules are up. <laughs> yeah, Lady Mules up 22 19. Check called that timeout because he saw NCOE was catching up. They were chipping away at the lead a little bit, and he wanted to kind of, uh, kind of help maybe stop, stem the tide, Cardinals tied a little bit right there. On the attack is Barger that time. NCOE hits this one, and they're on the attack again. Riley. Over to Brett. This time, Mo on the attack. And oh! Oh! Oh, that one yeah. right past him. By the way, Jeff Wise watching from Albion grade school tonight, not the hood. <laughs> but by the way, uh, again, uh, if you're watching Mule Nation on TV, uh, projector, uh, send us your photos. We'll be glad to post it on Facebook. And that's some dandy setups here. 23-19, Lady Mules, two points away. Server's ace, Lady Mules. <laughs> Kaylee Barger. Game point, 24-19. Lady Mules on the verge of winning this first set. Just got to get this last point here. Holland Everett fields a serve on the attack that time. Almost oh. blocked by Lady Mules by way of Edwards. Almost a point. Though. Hensley, Britt. Over to Riley, on attack is Mo, and nice. that is a point! Point for the Lady Mules, 25 to 19, they win the first set. The second set up coming here on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. We're all familiar with the three watts, what it is, what can it do for me, and what does it cost? At Country Financial, we can help you with the answers with insurance coverage to help protect what's most important to you, all at a price you can afford. So while you're juggling work and kids, while you're trying to keep an eye on your future, we'll make sure we're one of the first ones there when you need us most. What should you do next? Call Country Financial Representative Christina Copeland at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs. FNB would like to take a moment to say thank you to all our area farmers. You truly are the heart of the heartland. Whether it's for this season's crop or the next crop of seasoned farmers, FNB is proud to support you by offering agribusiness services, products, and solutions designed to help you grow. FNB, banking, business, life, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Looking for something special for that special someone? Let Black's Flowers and Gifts in downtown Fairfield help with a custom floral or silk arrangement, balloon or candy bouquet, or gift item. Give Black's a call at 618-847-7076 for pickup or delivery, or just stop by and say hi at 310 East Main in Fairfield. Black's Flowers and Gifts, your florist with a personal touch. This evening's broadcast is sponsored by the Wayne County Farm Bureau. Members of the Wayne County Farm Bureau earn a return on their membership dues. Members are eligible for a $500 special offer on Ford trucks, discounts at popular hotels and on car rentals, discounts on John Deere, Case IH, and CAT equipment, as well as discounts at theme parks, restaurants, movie theaters, and a whole lot more. Associate memberships are only $20 per year. Become a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau today. Go to waynecfb.com slash membership and learn how. The Wayne County Farm Bureau, a membership that means something. Welcome back here to the Mule Barn. Lady Mules win the first set. Varsity action 25-19 and Claire, that was, uh, boy, was that exciting or what? 
that was a very, very exciting match. I mean, every single point, no matter what team, they had to work so hard to get a point on that board, and it was a lot of fun to watch. I hope the second game, you know, is just as fun and exciting for everyone. Yes, and those were all those points, all those 25 points, they were hard fought. I mean, there was really no easy points at all. And, and right now, second set up coming here on Mule Nation by, by R.J. Markey. Again, if you just joined us, Fairfield winning that first set against NCOE 25-19. to Again, these two teams met back in August at the Lady Mule kickoff tournament where NCOE won in three sets. But Lady Mules like to avenge an earlier season loss and this time get the win over NCOE. We do have Lady Mule Senior Night Volleyball here as Fairfield will be hosting Sicily this Thursday. Catch out on Mule Nation. And also, Mule Football. Oh, sorry. There's a, oh, go ahead, Claire. I'm I sorry. was just going to say, number seven is serving here for oh, NCOE. That would be Hannah Taylor, the libero. On the attack are the Cardinals. And Riley hits this one up over to Emerson Robbins. And a point for Emerson. Emerson Went right by. And we right by Elise Horton, the junior defensive specialist. one nothing. Lady Mills get that first point. That's always huge. Ruth, Ruth McMean just checked back in. She sent a picture with her sewing machine. She said, Lady Mills in a sewing machine doesn't get much better. Only a point for Lady Mills hauling Everett with the kill attempt. but Hit that one right outside the box there. That was not by... Bob, that was a close one, too. It uh, was. That was a close shave. Colin Everett's reach is just impressive. She can literally be standing in the middle of the court and cover the entire area. You can see why. Look at that. Wow. She's got ups, too. It's that vertical. It's that verticality uh, and long oh. arms. And, and NCOE hits it right back over. Out and a point for the Lady Mules. Three-point lead here right at the start. That was hit outside by Hensley Everett. 3-0 Lady Mules lead. Good start for the Lady Mules. It's exactly what you want to see at the start of a second set like this in a game. With nice this try. Let's say hi to Sheila Zerlini who's checking in with us. And Sarah Wilhoit. Wilhoit? Wait, Will Wilhoit? H-O-I-T. W-H-I-L-O-I. I'll have to look at the name again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello to, hello to both of you. Yes, hello. Three to one again. Lady Mules lead into a block right there at the net right there uh. that time by Book. And there's a point for Lady Mules. And a big block. Oh, Book it. Book it, says Kate. <laughs> with the block. Just and went Kate, right over there. And uh. Kate even fell backwards. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing at herself. <laughs> Oh, I just got a text from my niece telling me that it's not ups, it's hops, Claire. Oh. So I'm not using the correct lingo. She's got hops. Thanks, Grace and Lynn. Server's ace for Lady Mules! Riley! Riley Edwards with a server's ace. And guys, this Lady Mules team is energized. They're focused. And boy, they're trying to send a message all throughout Southern Illinois and the state. There's Riley with another serve. That one just tickled the net. And point in. Oh. Emerson can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? Wait, what? Terry Loker just checked in and said, this is such an exciting game. Wish I could be there. We're glad you're joining us on Mule Nation, Terry. It's a good second best. Five to two. Again. Second oh my! Lucy and Lucy Brent hits this one out of bounds. Service oh, ace Cardinals. for the Cardinals. Hannah Taylor. No, excuse me. Oh, my mistake. Okay, that would actually be Lydia Vineyard. There's Vineyard with the serve. Oh, that one just veered over to the right and a point for Lady Mules. Vineyard checks out as. Knight, this would be Aubrey Knight. There's Aubrey Knight and Hayden Knight as them Aubrey checks in. 6 3, Lady Mills a double three. Now, Moe will serve. There's a serve from Moe. Then the back row there by NCOE on the attack that time is Hensley Everett. Hauling every little tap right over. They're there by Barger. Riley pushes it over the back row. Just out. Oh, just out. That was a close one. 
We got Valerie Dagg joining us from King and Key. Oh, hi, Valerie. Well, FCHS alumni from last year. Thanks yeah. for joining us. And a point for the Lady Mule server's error on the Cardinals. Chelsea Cuff will serve, homecoming queen. And I will say that all Royalty, season long. Royalty, yes. I will say that all season long. <laughs> Seven to four, Lady Mules lead by three. They won the first set. They're going to win the second one here. On the attack are the Cardinals. And a veered out point for Lady Mules. Eight to four. When we talk about the energy, the atmosphere, I mean, my goodness. There's so many people in that student section, they're having to stand now, some of them. <laughs> and i tell you what, that's what it's about. Those students can be like another player out there. Just nice. Emerson with the oh. saver! <laughs> oh, she put the anvil down! <laughs> Timeout, NCOE! Oh, 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 my God. Lady Mills lead. <laughs> You're watching Lady Mills Volleyball. Mill Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. <laughs> Do you have a check that needs deposited and don't have time to make a trip to the bank? No problem. With Mobile Deposit at People's National Bank, just snap a picture of the check with your smartphone, and with a couple of clicks, it's deposited into your account. Depositing a check with a PNB 2 go mobile banking app is just that easy. Just tap, snap, and deposit. Plus, it's free. Download the PNB 2 go mobile banking app today to get started. People's National Bank. We make banking easy. Member FDIC. Wireless or service fees may apply. And we are back, ready to continue in with this set. It is getting exciting. It is getting exciting. I apologize for the overmodulation. Sometimes that happens. This energe like this crowd is energetic. We are energetic. We get excited. Just I mean, get your mute hard. button well, out if you need to. Well, I'll tell you what. Mo just brought the anvil <laughs> down. It was just. I wish I had a radar gun just to see how fast. That I was. know. Seriously. Oh, nice Ooh. save, Mo. Just leaned out and got it. Hensley Everett on the attack of the point for the Lady Mules. Wow. Just keeping up with that lead here, 10 to four now. What a start for the Lady Mules. Winning that first set, I think just gave them that momentum, guys, and it has really carried over to the second set. Still early, but boy, if you're the if you're Lady Mules, you gotta be encouraged by this. Definitely, we just don't want to let it get to our heads. And server's ace. <laughs> and the homecoming queen gets a server's ace. <laughs> 11 to 4. Lady Mules, they lead by 7. There's another serve from Cuff. Down right there in the middle by NCOE. Nice blocking right there by Turner. Oh! Point. Well tapped by the Cardinals, but Lady Mills, they've been in a good groove all night long. Kate Book and Lucy Britt check in. Excuse me. Well, Kate Book will check out for a breather. Britt back in. She does the old switcheroo sometimes with Britt to get the libero in. At least Horton, the junior defensive specialist, will serve as a serve from Horton. Got over there by Barger. Riley sent this time over to Kaylee on the attack. Oh, that one was blocked right there into the net. A point for the Cardinals. Horton will serve again, 11-6. There's another serve. Got over there by Taylor. Riley, setting up this time over to Mo. Diving on the floor that time for NCOE is Everett. Back over his sister, Hensley. Brett, over to Barge, a little one-hander. NCOE having trouble, can they hit it back over? And they do by way of a kill nice. attempt. Mo diving on the floor and blocked, wow. almost blocked right there at the net. Brett, sending this time over to Mo on the attack from three meter line. Just back and forth. <laughs> Hensley Everett. Oh. Right by Mo. She started going left when she needed to go right. That was a great volley, volley though. Great volley. 11 to 7. Lady Mules lead by four. Like to get the ball back. Horton will serve again. That one's long. Long and point for Lady Mills. They'll take it as they get the ball back. Let's see if Lady Mills can do more damage. And Mabry Ellis, the defensive specialist, will serve. Mabry. With the serve that time. Bearing over to the right, but still stayed in. Only attack this time is Hansley Everett. 
Diving right there as Barger goes out. A point for Antio E. Got ourselves a four-point game now. Lydia Vineyard, the senior outside hitter, will check in. Now Hensley Everett, the sophomore, sister of Holland Everett, will serve. There's a serve right there. That was a nice serve. And blocked oh. it by Riley. Nice. Oh, kind of slipped it over the net there, mm -hmm. but they still, they still kept Lucy the hold on of it. Lucy on the floor. She gets right back up. And nice this one diving in right there by way of Mo. Riley hits this one right over as they set it up again. Oh, oh, oh right through the blocker's so hands. Close. Both Barger and Turner. Play for the Cardinals. They kept cheaping away. 12 to 9. Lady Mules need to get the ball back. Cannot give NCOE some momentum here. Long serve out of bounds and a point for Lady Mules. I want to give a quick shout out to Erica Burris. She's joining us on Mule Nation. Oh, hi, Erica. She's at home making some bracelets um, and cheering on the mules. Her daughter, TK, has been making bracelets, mules bracelets. Um, I ordered one myself. So it says, keep it up, ladies. Thanks for joining us, Erica. Hi, Erica. And by the way, go Illini. <laughs> Blocked right there by Lady Mules, but a point for NCOE. <laughs> That violation, so. Oh, my gosh. 13 to 10. Oh, we chat about Illinois basketball, Erica and I do. Oh, so. yeah, she's a big Illini fan. One time I went to an Illinois game, and I saw Erica up there. <laughs> like, perfect timing. Emerson Robbins hits that one over. And, oh, and a point for Lady Mules. Just a miscommunication with NCOE. It was a violation, though. Kate Book. Checking in into our all Echo Hayden K. Boo. I got to laugh. I just got a text from my Aunt Lisa. Even Choice Hotels are getting in on the Book It thing. She <laughs> sent me a screenshot of Choice Hotels ad, and it says, <laughs> Book It. Book It. I'm telling you, nationwide trend. Nationwide, global, worldwide. Yes. Little nation worldwide. And we are. We are for real. 14 to 11. Lady Mules with a three-point lead. NCOE has the ball. Here's the serve from the Cardinals. Field over there by Ellis. This one's hit up high over to Riley. On the attack is Mo. Right through the blocker's hands. And they said this time hit over by way of Knight. Riley over to Mo. Oh, oh, nice. Right. Still going. They right saved it. Way to wow. save that. Owen. Oh, oh. Oh. That is just a tough one to try and get back over. Yep. One thing that I've, I've noticed with the Lady Mules, they hustle. You know, they've been Time running out. around. Fair Timeout, Lady Mules. Mules, 14 and 12. Is your score, Lady Mules lead. You're watching Lady Mules Volleyball on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. The Fairfield Signal, your locally owned hometown grocery store, 709 West Main, wishes the meals a great season. Open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Save a lot offers fresh fruit and produce and fresh cut meats all at everyday low prices. Check out their Facebook pages for weekly specials. Wabash General Hospital is now accepting new patients of all ages at the Albion Medical Clinic. Call 618-445-8170 to schedule your appointment for any number of services, including primary care, orthopedic and sports medicine, lab draw, and diagnostic imaging. Wabash General Hospital. People you know, helping people. And we are back on the air. 14-12, your Lady Mules are up right now. Up against NCOE, and check call that timeout. Server's error point for Lady Mules as it veered over to the left. Costume theme night tonight here at the Mule Barn. That's why you see the students dressed up in their costume garb. Halloween less than two weeks away. By the way, beach night this Thursday at the Mule Barn. Senior night as well. Fairfield hosting Sisney. Find the broadcast details on Mule Nation. 15 to 12, Lady Mules with Lady. Oh, a little miscommunication. Boy, Point for Lady Mules. Violation committed by the Cardinals. It's like NCOE's trying to make that run. Lady Mules get the ball back. And that lead just kind of balloons up a little bit. It's just been kind of the ebb and flow of the game so far in the second set. Oh, boy! Oh, Tries wow. a sledgehammer down! <laughs> Mo Robbins! <laughs> Oh, oh, I just love how I love how excited the girls get when that when Emerson gets her kills. 
They're stomping and falling to the ground. By the way, uh, that was Mach 5 speed. That was ludicrous speed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, Riley Ellis. Uh, Riley Ellis. Riley Edwards with the serve. <laughs> 17 to 12. Kate Book with a little one-hander that time. On the attack is Knight. Little one-hander. Over to Riley. Lucy. Over to Mo. Buckter there by the Cardinals. Colin Everett down in there. Along with Knight. 17-13, Lady Mules with the lead. Boy, Mo with a couple of emphatic kills here in the second set. And into the net, service Straight error. Into the net. Oh, yeah. Lady we've seen that a few times from NCOE here, but we've seen Cardinals just hit serving to the net. And for Fairfield, that's a free point. 18-13, Lady Mules lead by five. Emerson with the serve. That one just Ooh. tickled the net. Diving Barely right there by over. Taylor. And Holland on the attack, and a point for Holland and the Cardinals. Speaking of Holland, I think she'll be serving, and she will be. I keep forgetting, where is my water at, Bob? <laughs> Had to point at it. You're looking everywhere except where it is. Hey, you were doing that earlier during the break. All right, Barger over to Edwards. Kate Book, a little one-handed attack that time, filled up by the Cardinals. And a point for NCOE. Oh, oh. Five Lady Mills. Okay. Maya Scroggins, a senior. Oh, royalty has checked in. Oh, Chelsea <laughs> Cuff, yes. 19-14. Lady Mills lead by five. They won this first set earlier, 25 to 19. Could be that same score, we'll see. On the attack are the Cardinals. Oh. Good save. Great job by Gracie, hitting that right back over. On the attack that time is Knight. Over to Edwards. Robbins, over to Barger. Little one-handed no. tap right there. And a point for the Mills. Wow. She tried to tap it over, and they just tapped it right back. 20 to 14, six-point lead here. Wow. And Time it's going to be a timeout. Timeout, NCOE, 20 to 14, Lady Mills lead. You're watching Lady Mills Volleyball, a Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. The Fairfield Banking Company, your true locally owned hometown bank, says go Mules. See them for checking and savings accounts and loans of all types. Lobby hours are 8.30 to 4 Monday through Friday and 8 to noon on Saturdays. And the convenient drive through they're open 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday, 8 to 6 on Friday and 8 to noon on Saturday. The Fairfield Banking Company, 915 Commerce Drive in Fairfield. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we are back on the air. Excited <laughs> to finish up this match. I mean, it has just been an exciting game. Angie Tucker, we need get shirts. <laughs> and then Brandon Biddles. Uh, hey. Oh, go ahead. He's a great job, girls. Shout out I, to my Aunt Judy, who's also watching the stream. Yeah, the Judy says, hi, Bob Ellis. I like the idea of the Book It shirts, though. We can uh, make that our mule, next Mule Nation yeah. <laughs> Put brand. that real big on the back of a T-shirt. <laughs> Kate also plays basketball too. May do that some way, somehow. Emerson Ooh, that was with a, a powerful kill attempt. Hit. But NCOE fields it all off the hands of Lady Mules. I think Hensley had the point on that one. 20 to 15. Substitution for the Cardinals. As we see, Elise Horton check back in, and Horton will serve. Again, we just joined us, Lady Mules won the first set. 25-19, second set varsity on coming now. Blocked right there by the Lady Mules front line. Riley hits it up there, over to Robbins, and Emerson with the point to the kill! They just could not save that one. And what I like about Emerson is, Emerson's about five foot 10, but reminds me of her <laughs> brother Camden, how she has a that uh, the verticality as well, it'll leap up there. It just helps her out. And Emerson, she has a huge kill zone area. I mean, 21-15. Lady Mills leads up. By the way, Camden down there at Murray State playing football. Hope you're doing well, Camden. Always been a big fan of you. On the attack that time is Holland Everett. And that one, ooh, bounced on the line. That's a point for the, for the Cardinals. Yeah, that one bounced on the line. It's just hard to get back there to be able to get that. It's really, even if you were to backpedal, it's still pretty tough. Oh, because yeah. 
backpedaling is difficult, too. Some of those like that, there's just not a whole lot you can do. And my balance is shot, too. When I backpedal, I'm afraid I'll fall and break a leg. <laughs> there we go. Here's a uh, serve from the Cardinals. Riley just bumps it right back over. Holland, little one end at that time. The emails were not fooled. On the attack and the point for Ansel E. That was by way of Maya Scroggins, a senior. Hensley Everett, the sophomore, will serve. 21 17. Lady Mules lead, second set. Lucy fields that serve. Riley sets it to come over to Kinsey Turner. And up high right there. That's out of the point oh. for Kinsey. <laughs> Do everything, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> I know, I know. Make that be a short two, I guess. All right, 22-17. I think we should get you doing some karaoke on stream, Derek. Uh, I'll probably get tomatoes thrown at me. <laughs> <laughs> that was long. Oh, I'm going to point for the Lenny Mules. Oh, no. oh. Oh, I thought it was out. I, I really thought it was, too. That looked out. Okay, 22-18. Uh, Instant replay. <laughs> We're calling New York. All right. I would just take over. Oh, that. wow. Great job by Kenzie Turner keeping that one afloat. And Turner bumps it right back over to Taylor in the back row. And Holland Everett, a little one-hander that time. Ready Riley that. setting up for Mo with the point to the kill. <laughs> Two points away here. Two points away. What a a lot can happen in two points, though. <laughs> I remember we covered Lady Mills and Hamco yeah. a couple of weeks ago. This right here, the atmosphere, the energy, it's more than that. Oh, and, yeah. And, and you can just feel it. You can tell. That's what happens whenever you have a game like this at home. Yes. And, you're, and you know, both schools not that far apart from each other either, so short drive down to North City. There's Lucy. What the serve, Lucy Brett, top of the serving order. Over to Holland Everett, little tapper right here. Great job right there by Holland. That was a great job of spotting that open hole in Lady Mills defense, but that's something too that the Lady Mills have to do is you gotta make sure you try to shore up, cover up those holes if you can. Get it right there by Barger. Emerson on the attack, get over there by Taylor in the back row. They send this time over to Vineyard, and out! A point for the Lady Mills! Game point. point for the Lady Mills! Stay tuned while we're with Coach Chet Snyder and the post game. 24 19, Riley Edwards will serve. Here we go. Here's the serve from Riley. That one. It's over by way of Everett. Emerson over to Riley. Back over to Emerson. Blocked right there by NCOE by way of Holland Everett. On, and Emerson just hits it right back over. They said this time over to uh, Knight with the points and the kill. 24-20. Hey, Ooh. Knight, the freshman, contributing, and I like Knight's play out there. I think she's going to be a force down the road and seen some good freshmen play this year at the varsity level already. There's a serve from Vineyard. Over to Robbins. Riley hits this one up. Over to Mo with the kill! <laughs> and the point! That's it! 25-20! Lady Mills win! They oh. storm the court on costume night! They did it in two. Wow. 25-20, second set varsity final. Stay tuned on where we're coach Chet Snyder coming up on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Hashtag No Tan Lines wants to wish the Lady Mules a safe and successful volleyball season. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield has 14 tanning beds for your convenience. That includes levels 1 through 4 and stand-up beds. They've got accessories, lotions, and more. Plus check out their line of boutique clothing in all sizes, including plus sizes. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-6336 to get your tan on. Need a place to hold indoor practices, athletic training, or a birthday party? 
Give Carter Trucking a call at 618-842-2022 and ask about availabilities at the Carter Sports Academy on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Need any type of excavating work done? Carter Trucking can help you out. You can also get your rock, dirt, sand, or gravel at Carter Trucking. Plus, ask about bulk mulch, decorative landscaping rock, and asphalt patch. Jeremy and Nikki and the crew at Carter Trucking in Fairfield say go mules. Raylan James Marketing, marketing done your way. No matter how small your business is, we're here to help with everything from social media management to search engine optimization. Needing a website or business cards? A flyer for your upcoming event? We do that too. Hometown people helping out our hometown businesses. Contact us today at 618-315-3611 or email claire at raylanjames.com to see how we can help your business grow. Go Mules! We are back here, and we're trying to get <laughs> Double D's attention here. Um, they're taking some pictures of the volleyball team with the um, all the kids who dressed up in their costumes tonight. Um, so they're down there. But, man, Bob, what a matchup oh, yeah. it was tonight. That was so exciting. It really, really was. And the Lady Mules came out on top. And they won it in two, which is what is even more impressive. Double, Z, Double D is down there getting them all hyped up. <laughs> he is their biggest fan, as they will, uh, a lot of them will say. So I'm going to take another commercial break really fast. There's some people in front of our cameras, so then we'll get back to Double D in just one second. Conard Financial Group can help you build a diverse portfolio to keep you on track with your financial goals. Conard Financial Group can help you with retirement planning from 401ks to IRAs, 401k rollovers, college saving plans, life and long-term care insurance, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and certificates of deposits. Over 46 years of combined experience in the financial industry. They'll help you plan and invest for your future, whatever your goals may be. Give them a call or stop by Conrad Finance Group, LLC, investing in the community since 2003. Okay, we are back. Double D, if you're ready with Coach Chet Snyder, we're ready for you. Double D, can you hear us? We're ready for you, bud. Oh, yes, I am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my goodness. I'm here. <laughs> okay, please please talk. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back here to the Mule Barn. Derek Dunn here with you talking with Coach Chet Stein, the favorite Lady Mules coach. What a uh, what a thrilling two set victory. Yeah, that was, it was a great atmosphere. Um, North City, we knew would bring a ton of fans. They're having an awesome year, 33 and My dad's the goat. And uh, <laughs> then um, we had a great great crowd here tonight for um, at the Mule Barn. And great atmosphere, and two teams I thought um, played really well. Uh, I thought they, North City let us off the hook. They struggled at the service line, and you know, and that was really the only difference in the game. I thought we served, we won the serve pass game, and um, we battled in all other areas, and um, it was a great match. I thought Mo with a couple of emphatic, I call it hammers or anvils, whatever you want to call it. You know, those hit two emphatic kills really just really made set shockwaves over. Right. Emerson can smash the ball, and she, you know, she got the 30-game kill earlier in the year, but this was the best match she's ever played. From the service line to her responsibilities of what she was supposed to do, she did everything to a T all night long. And we know she's an, outst I mean, an incredible terminator. But, man, she did all those other things that I told her. I said, I've always known that's in there, and she's making so many other plays, and that just makes us so much better. And um, I thought, you know, we just – we were big at the net all night long. They're, they hit the ball so well, you know, and I thought Kinsey and Gracie got a good one-on-one -on -one out there for us, you know. Um, Kate had that monster block where it knocked her back. But um, just loved um, our fight, you know, and our defense just keeps getting better and better and better. So We'll talk to one of the seniors, but speaking of seniors, the Kaylee Barger senior night this Thursday at the Mule Barn Beach night as well. But, Coach, Five seniors that you've had here and uh, going to be recognized this Thursday. 
Um, we want to send them out right, so I hope everybody comes out and sees them. It's been one of the best classes to ever go through, um, FCHS, volleyball. And um, those five are not just good on the court, you know, in the game, but they're, they're, they're really good humans, and they're going to make a difference in the world. I brought Kaylee, you know, she hasn't got to play as much lately just because she's been hurt and um, was so good to have her back out there tonight. She just makes such a difference for us on the court, and um, she was really good for – it's, this is such a game of rhythm, volleyball is. And when you're removed from it for a while, it's hard to get back out there. And she makes it look easy. Well, Coach, I'll let you celebrate with everyone, but congratulations again on Juice Victory over NCAA. We'll see you this Thursday. By the way, Mule Nation was here too. So. Thanks, Eric. Thank you, Mule Nation, Mom and Kathy, and my my wonderful daughter, Mikhail. Yeah, she watched. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. By the way, Kaylee Barger, we'll have Kaylee come over here and interview her for a little bit. Kaylee, congratulations. You said victory over. What are your thoughts about going in? Um, well, I didn't. I didn't really know if I was going to get to play tonight. Uh, Sarah told me senior night was what we were aiming for, and I said Intui. I was ready to play. Like nothing was going to stop me from playing tonight. I was ready. Well, what I was really encouraged by was how you had those. You had some kills early in that first set. Yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting to go out and get a kill. Honestly, I was ready to just. I was scared. I was nervous. I was really worried I was going to get hurt again. But I mean, when I step out on the court, it left my brain. Talk about your role on this team. I know you usually play like a lot of outside. You like to block in the middle. Uh, uh, I. Sorry, I'm so nervous. What? So, so like, whenever you're on the outside, you play a lot of outside. You also play a lot of like in the front when you're blocking and everything. What do you do out there on the floor? Um, I play back row, which is the first year I play in back row. Um, I started in the summer. I was working hard. I was doing everything I could to put forth what I had to give my team the best I had. Um, I think I've done fairly well this year, being first-time sixth rotation player. Um, I'm trying my hardest, giving it my all, just trying to be the best teammate I can be. I have this Thursday senior night here at the Meal Barn. Um, uh, it's kind of bittersweet. Um, I'm not ready for it to end. I love my team. I can't wait to see what they do next year. Uh, I love love the girls that are going to be seniors next year. I'm so proud of them, so uh, so proud of where they've come, and I'm ready to see where they go. We've enjoyed watching you here on Mule Nation. You've grown over the course of the season, and you've got volleyball postseason coming up next week. But, hey, let's get a win here. Congratulations on the Tuesday victory over NCOE tonight. Let's get a win on senior night and uh, postseason coming up next week. I agree. Thank you. Thanks, Kayla, again. I'm Derek Dunn with Mule Nation by RJ Marketing. Stay tuned. We'll wrap it up with the postgame show. Looking for something comfy to watch the big game on? Rush Appliance and Furniture in Fairfield has got you covered with a huge selection of Lazy Boy recliners, love seats, and sofas. There's also mattresses, bed frames, bedroom suites, dining sets, appliances, and more. Plus, you'll get world-class service at Rush Appliance and Furniture. 118 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-4096. At Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, Stephen and Tiffany say you're not just a customer, but a part of their family. Open 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday right next to Save-A-Lot in Fairfield. They feature a full line of over-the-counter products like high-potency orthomolecular vitamins. Plus, Stephen says those specially compounded pain creams are back at Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield right next to Save-A-Lot. We are back with the post-game show. D Double D hiked, uh, hyped us up. We don't really have a lot planned here, but just rehash kind of what happened tonight. It was just uh, we knew going in how big of a game this was going to be. Mm -hmm. And we knew that there was going to be a good crowd on both sides of Mule Barn. Um, you guys had never seen NCOE until now. And you can see why there's a lot of amp. You can see why there's a lot of hype about it. Yes, and definitely. They played good. And, you know, both teams, I mean, chess at the best. I thought NCOE had those service errors uh, at several of them. So it was kind of like a gift to Lady Meals a little bit. They got some free points off of that. Right, they did. And it was just a, a great game to be here and uh, to watch. And we want to thank our you know viewers for watching at home. If you couldn't be here, I know this is the – second best you know yeah. way to watch it yeah. so thank you for joining us and we just want to say thank you to our sponsors one more time and our sponsors include wayne county farm bureau christina copeland country financial wallbash general hospital fairfield banking company carnaby square fnb save a lot 
PMV, RJ Marketing, Connard Financial Group, Carter Trucking, Potts Family Pharmacy, Hashtag No Tan Lines, Rush, and Blacks. Thank you, everyone, and who's also, tuned in. Lady Mills Volleyball reminder this Thursday, Senior Night here at the Meal Barn. We'll have that coverage for you here on Meal Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Fairfield hosting Sisney this Thursday. From one thing, Grady Simpson for running the camera tonight. Claire Vaughn with the commentary, all-star commentary and engineering the stream. Bob Ellis. Thanks as always, Bob. It's good and, to be here. And I'm Derek Dunn. Thank you again to all our viewers. Have a wonderful, blessed night. Always a pleasure here. Broadcasting from the Meal Bomb, where Lady Meals win in two sets over NCOE. Final scores 25 to 19 and 25 to 20. So long. Take care and be safe. We will see you on Thursday.